Hey, I'm Fia and welcome to my VOD from the 9th of January 2022. Uh, it's a Sunday, so we did a lot of transmog hunting. We got quite a few bits and pieces, but I'll let you find out where we got them from. The music may be giving you a bit of a clue though. Um, we also had a lot of chats, a lot of random chats, a big talk about uh, PTR for WoW and the differences between the, the development cycles of WoW and Final Fantasy. Look, it was a whole lot of fun, a lot of interesting discussion and differing opinions and Look, it was great. I enjoyed myself thoroughly and I hope that you will too. You can catch me live on Twitch from 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Brisbane time, uh, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in chat next time. Hello. Welcome back. It is Sunday. At least I think it's Sunday. It's Sunday, right? It's totally Sunday. So we are doing, we're doing transmog farming, and it was great. Get things, weren't we? Weren't we, Aaron Jesus? You will grant me transmog. Severian Dreamer. Okay, I can do that. Set favorite. There we go. Alrighty. Ah, battles. Surprised it hasn't kicked me out of the event. It didn't even ask me if I wanted to stop doing the event, which is odd. Uh, Snowfall has finished, in case you missed that. Uh, but it hasn't kicked me out of the map, which is curious. Three tanks. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> That's alright. That's alright. Do this. So, uh, jumping into my spreadsheet, and my lowest percentage on fear is Tumor Sargeras at 66.67%. So, I reckon we might start with uh, going through each of the difficulties on Tomb and just, 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 just seeing. Just seeing what we can do. There's 108 out of 162, isn't it? Yes. Good. Good. Greetings. Uh, so. Oh fuck, right, zone drops. Okay. <sighs> zone drops. That's fine. So I think it's Gates of Hell, Wailing Halls, Chamber of the Avatar, and Deceivers Fall, right? That's. Yeah. Well, with honor, we'll pull up an ATT mini as well. So that we know what we're doing. Cool! Alrighty, let me have a look through. Yeah, so Qualitron was warped. Um, we had a hiccup with the internet yesterday morning where it disconnected. I had to restart the router again. So I reckon that's probably what's done it. Um, but that's okay. Dupe grabbed first, BC grabbed second. Hair Jack, Hair Shopper. Uh, and then Zam tried to grab first. And then Shiba announced that Qualitron is broken. Um, hey Chaos. I'm not doing my third is still free. Should you give me Obviously, it's over here. And then I fixed it. How come the one on Discord works, but the one here doesn't? Aren't they linked? It's the same program, but it's like having two different fucking logins, Sam. You can change your password for Twitch, but it's not going to change your password for Discord. Like, they're two different accounts. <laughs> so it, the, the connection to Twitch got fried. The connection to Twitch was broken, but the connection to Discord was still fine. It's, it's two separate connections. Yes. It's like, you know, your PC has botched the internet, but your phone can still connect to the internet somehow. It's, yeah, it's fine. It's economy. From V, hey, V. Yes. Yeah, Sunday is really Sunday, apparently so. The red box. This is old as shit. It's starting to get some holes in it, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, um... One I got from... What's it called? It's an online store that's existed for, for forever. Um, I'm trying to think what it's called. I always forget the name of the store. Think Geek. Um, yeah. Right, Keisha Fell Treasures. Shit, I probably should have. That's okay. After this, after this thing, uh, after this wing, I'll go and check my um. Because I didn't I uh, last week didn't I start up a mission. I feel like I did. 
or maybe a few weeks ago, I don't really remember. Um, zone drops, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Sagaris, indeed, Tomb of Sargus. Tomb of Sargus. Witchcraft. Oh, this is this thing that should always have at least four holes in them. Yes. Hey, was that actually what I needed? Holy fuck, it was. Oh my god, so I got 109 out of 162. Amazing, it's still my lowest. And I don't need anything from that boss anymore, it's done. Brilliant. Good. Um, I see the um, level of monitor, so if I was going to play YouTube, Twitch, Netflix, fantastic. Wonderful. Enchanted Fey Dragon. No. No. I'm tired of having YouTube search in my main browser. Did I fight the bullet and finally get a third? Well done. Well done. Off to a good start. Indeed. Indeed. What's the bet that that's my entire luck for the, the whole? It's done. Like, no more. No more for fear. Hello, Dotto! Hello, welcome on in. Welcome on in. Oh man. Oh. Delicious. A zone drop. <laughs> um, so that is a zone drop that I already have. But that means I can sell it. And the region sale average is apparently 42k. So that's alright. I'll take it. Bring the Tidestone to us. Just as our blessed queen foresaw. Look, we're going pretty well so far. Going pretty well so far. Ah, uh, Winged Guardian. No. No. Uh, I do own this one. It doesn't fly. What the fuck is going on? Has someone broken something? Um, that that's a new one. Uh, one ten. Okay. And all of a sudden, it's no longer my lowest, and I don't need anything else from Hajj Ten, so I'm gonna pass on that bonus roll. Uh, someone someone broke something. Clearly, someone has upped my drop rate of shit I need, and <laughs> which I'm not complaining about it, but uh, look. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, we've got, like, what, what's that? Drop off the first boss. Zone drop, and then a drop off the second boss. <laughs> Look, this is fine. This is fine. Time with new puppy, fantastic. It's you again? I, I have no doubt that it is, Dory. You, you are the, you are the good, the, uh, bleh, you are the good luck charm. There you go. Oh dear. Chamber of the what's it has a small amount of trash, but then I don't think the last the wing has any trash at all. From memory, so I can skip that one. Oh, excuse me. What just happened there? This is very funny. Maybe we should go do a single shark kill just in case. Maybe I should. So that's 111, and that's that wing finished now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> sure. Sure. Does DMF start today? No idea. No idea. It was supposed to start last week. Um, I don't think there's been a blue post to tell anyone about when it's going to start in, like, to make up for it. I, I have no idea. Um, I don't check where I had very often. Oh, it's in the calendar. Oh, there was a blue post. Put a blip. There was a blue post. Perfect. There you go. Um, yeah, I haven't checked it. So, um, yeah, go find a post from a Blizzard employee is your best bet.
Uh, yeah, if, if it's in the calendar, then maybe. Yep, I, I don't know. Oh, fuck, wrong button. Which one is it? It's uh, this one. Yeah, I I do not have any inside information. I cannot tell you anything that uh, you don't, that, like, yeah, that isn't available on the internet. I can't tell you. <laughs> no idea. Everything is fine here. Totally fine. 100% fine. Alright, let's go see if we got anything from the... I know they start a quest and then you have to go do the thingy anyway, don't you? Oh no, that was for that was for rep. Okay, that's fine. Unwrap, that's cool. Um, did I? Is there a? Right. Worship of scrollings. Okay, Enough so we can start that one. Action. Um. And that's it. Okay, that's that's all right. I'm not going to get that for a little while, but at least it's been started. Um, hop back down to here and do the next. Uh, the next. What's it? The next wing. Wailing halls. Uh, just a minute. She knows. I don't. Uh, Gorse Strata Grunling. No. It should at least one monitor is display port, or at least has an active display port adapter. Go. So apparently my lowest dungeon and or raid on fear is now in Taurus again. Um, but I want to do at least normal and heroic. Like at least at least all the LFR and then etc etc from um Light from Light. Tomb, just to make sure I've done what I can. I might not do a mythic because I know that I can't solo mythic just yet. Or at least not uh not easily. It takes a bit of pushing. So um <laughs> So we might skip Mythic, but um I'll definitely give this a go. Admit that I am right. Let's see if we can't get some more drops and then not have to do two for a month or so. Be nice. Although it has been a little while since we've had to do two, I think. Because we had enough percentage. But I had quite a few dungeons sitting on two thirds complete, like 66.6. There's nothing I need from these guys. It's uh, LFR, so I don't think I have to do these, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm paranoid now. Forged ancient wonders and shaped the earth itself. Today, it shatters the bonds of fate. And the sisters and, and uh, what's it called? Desolate host, which are both downstairs. Sweet! Let's go do those. Uh, Craghorn Chasm Leaper? No. Might be getting a kit in a couple weeks. Mom's co-worker's cash on your six months express. Interesting. Get anyone. Fantastic! Um, I know too many people. We've got a three monitor set up and found they needed the active adapter. Sure, I had a friend go through the specs with me to what I need to know. Appreciate the advice. Daisy tune and display ports sort of thing. High Mountain Elderhorn? No. One day I'll be able to afford extra screens. Uh, not just yet. Uh, not the Stonehide Elderhorn, though. Sparkles, there's a sparkle. Step in here and trigger the trap. Uh, I remember saying I don't want to 
go into a home. Quartz and runner, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's the quartz and runner. Um, there's like maroon and some some bronze for the saddle, and then I've got some black on the on the like outer corner and stuff to kind of deepen the whole thing, as well as uh, obviously represent the color of the horsey. Is a quartz and runner. <laughs> what did you meant to hit, Shiba? What did you meant to hit? Ground of flying mount. Um, I, as I said earlier, it was a mount that I own, but is a, is a ground mount. It does not fly. Um, but no, it wasn't. It was not the black war ram, which is the message that Shiba deleted accidentally. Click chat box. Mouse decided to swoop up. Brilliant. Look. Guys, I got his own job. One I needed. <laughs> oh, good lord! Something is uh, something is happening. Something is happening. I think everyone needs to jump on in and do some transmog farming. Like seriously, pick your lowest lowest completion place and just kind of give it a go. Cause um, something something's happening. Something's going on. Getting a lot of tokens. <laughs> 54, okay. Um... My eyes have been watering like all day. It's really frustrating me. It means my eyelashes aren't sticking properly. And it's like. So then like the loose ends are poking me as well, which is making the water even more, and it's just like, what the fuck? It's it's um Baby doo, da, 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 da. It's great fun. Minoria or Sheba. Minoria, I have to have one time. I got the ship panic, it's fine. It's fine. Um Cool. So my dashboard broke. Give me just a minute while that reloads. Um. Defilers! They must be purged from Elune's sacred temple. I think she's moving like this. Baby to da 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 Baby to na 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 ready, Casparian. Ah, shit. You've got a double eye, don't you? There we go. There you are. Ta-da! Congratulations. Um... Things. And stuff! Just a second. Uh, the Tones. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, uh... I'm quite partial to them myself. It just, yeah, it's definitely, definitely something. Um, where am I? I think this is the one that I'm looking for. I need to figure out a better way of doing this shit. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a stream reader's skin that I can give away, and I'm just trying to remember who I gave the first one to, because I'm pretty sure I did do a giveaway and, and the first one was one. Yes! There it is. Cool. Yep, yeah, alright, so I haven't done the other one. Brilliant! So we're gonna do that. So it is a cyber vampire skin for stream raiders. Same rules as usual. Exclamation giveaway to enter. 
and you've got to be following to win. There you go. Blame a mod, Shiba. Yes, we'll blame Shiba for that. And we have a hydrate, so I'll do that too. Mm. But yeah, I am, um, I do quite like the darker looks on myself as well. Um, I don't know, it just, I, claim I think maybe it's like hydrate. a combination of like how pale I am and then the fact that my hair's been done, like my hair's fresh, so it's darker as well. It just kind of all goes together. Um, I did, uh, I did makeup yesterday, actually. Um, I've been slacking on doing makeup on my days off lately. But, um, I posted a photo in Discord because I was just really happy with how it turned out. But I used my Mellow Cosmetics palette that I got in my mystery box, the treasure chest one. Um, and I pulled three shades out of there and did, like, a pinky, purple, maroon kind of look. Um, and I really, really liked how it turned out. It was just, like, the, the colors just really worked on my skin tone and everything, and I think the three colors that I chose worked beautifully together and stuff as well. I'm just, yeah, I was really happy with it. The goddess. Okay, I didn't get what I needed, so I'm gonna roll. No, I and I got fucking currency. That's fine. Won. That's fine. And then we go do trash. Alone. Forgive us. <clears throat> These sound bites <laughs> Um. Fresh hair, wait, what? I know. No, like freshly dyed hair, it's a different color. And then it fades, and then you re-dye it, and then it fades, and then you re-dye it, and then it fades, and then it, yep. Yeah. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So there's, um, there's one more zone drop that I need. And one oh, the alliance. more boss drop that was from the prior boss. So LFR is almost done for me. To Masagiris, LFR is almost done, which is really nice. Uh, on on the mage, <laughs> at least on the mage. Um, obviously, like I'm not gonna go buying myself the zone drop until I've cleared it out on all my other tunes as well. Because there's always a chance that I'll be going through and I'll have a cloth zone drop drop. You know? Because they're not bot. They're the BOE. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. I mean, technically I could go through and, uh, like, try to get that on all my cloth wearers as well. Though I don't know how well I do. I don't think it'd go so well on a 50. And I don't have any other cloth wearing 60s, so it's just another argument, I guess, for getting my other tunes to 60. Let's use a 30 now. I saw. Well done. Well done. My youth, I had many colors in my hair. I've I've never done like rainbow hair, just because. I don't know. It's so there's like. When I in in my early twenties, I was dating a guy who was very much into like the scene girl look with all the piercings and tattoos and all this kind of stuff. Um, and obviously, I'm not. I don't look like that. I don't have a ton of piercings. I just have my ears pierced, uh, and I don't have any tattoos or anything like that. Um, and he didn't mind that. He was just like, you know, this this was a particular aesthetic he he enjoyed. He didn't really care that I didn't have it or anything like that. But. I, I kind of, I was having a think about why, like, I because I was very much a part of that scene. I was managing a fucking nightclub. That was my job. Um, but, like, why did I love the, the scene, but I didn't want to look? I didn't want to, like, adopt the look. Like, why didn't I do that for myself? And I came to realize that, like, I, I kind of came to, to the, th the thought that I like being able to not be out there I like the fact and I mean yeah okay you can argue that you can take all the piercings out and you can take the makeup off but you still have that you're still gonna have those holes there you're gonna have holes in your face where you've got your snake bites you're gonna have a, a, a like a hole in your nose where you've got that piercing you're gonna have like all that kind of stuff is you're gonna have the droopy earlobes if you've got um gauges in and stuff like, like it's all that stuff is still gonna be there regardless of whether or not you take them out you can't really do a whole lot about that. I mean, there's like putties and stuff these days that you can fill in the holes with and stuff like that, but trying to get it to match your skin tone or put makeup over them, it's just, it's a fucking, no, too much effort. Um, and the thing with the hair, like I didn't want to have zebra stripes in my hair because like 
No, <laughs> I wanted to be able to walk down the street and completely blend in with absolutely everybody and just be like normal and invisible. But then when I go out, I can put on the heavy makeup and I can wear the clothes and I can do all the stuff and, and like, I was, I'm a chameleon. I can do, I can do all, all the different things, but I can also be a fucking normie day to day. So I've never had rainbow hair, nor do I ever want to, because I just, no, I like blending in. <laughs> I like that I can blend in, but then I can also attach things to myself to make myself stand out, but then I can detach them as well. Um, so I've, uh, yeah. I just, I love it on other people. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's super cool. Fuck that. Also maintenance, fuck off with that noise. Just no, that's not happening. Um, what can I do for you? Uh, all right, Chamber of the Avatar I think has a small amount of trash, but then I don't think there's any in the last wing. Just looking for that zone drop. I uh, did the eyebrow, but it grew out twice. Figured it wasn't for me. Look, hey, sometimes your body just doesn't want it, hey. Like a spy, got it, fears Jason Bourne, confirmed. Uh, I don't know so much about Jason Bourne. But yeah, it just, um, I don't know. I just, I remember hearing all those girls talking about how difficult it was for them to find jobs and all this kind of stuff because people had all these preconceived notions. Granted, half of them were on fucking drugs and kept walking up to work, um, like, drunk and shit like that, but, you know each their own um but like even those who i would have considered to be more responsible for their age they're all early 20s and that's you know it's fine you do what you want with the 20s kind of thing um but you will not disturb the master's it just like even those who were quite responsible they just they couldn't like they just had all this judgment on them because of the way that they looked and so yeah it just it made sense to me to want to be able to blend in and, you know, I can listen to the music I want to listen to, and I can go partying every weekend and all this kind of stuff, but then, come Monday, I can put on a pencil skirt and a button-up blouse, and I'm a normie. <laughs> like, it just, yeah. This Made more body, sense. My, my, my vigil ends. Let not Made more sense. the dark one but Luckily, nowadays, you know, ten years later, um, there's a lot more like acceptance and there are a lot more jobs who will actually not judge you for having incredible hair that's you know that you put all this effort into as long as you maintain it and stuff obviously if you rock up looking ratty and, and just not great then especially if you're in a customer facing position but if you if you're well maintained then it should let it you know yes let them let them do what they want to do all right i think that's lfr done because there's no more trash and I don't need anything off those last two bosses. So I think it's normal time. Let's give that a go. That was a pretty good run though. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Uh, don't get good at streaming as a cat this way for anyone. Like, let's be honest though. You don't get a job streaming it. <laughs> you, that's not a thing. Um, just, yeah. Get the programs, you set yourself up, and you press go. And then hope for the best. Oh uh, dear. Did I? Did we have a... No, two and a half minutes. Expecting it was about time. It's fucking lashes, they're just not sticking and my eyes hurt. Ugh. Frustration. Frustration. Difficulty. Relics you can, but beware of the spirits still lingering about. 
please, like, spam chat and yell at me and remind me to place the fucking things. I don't think I- I'm not sure if I've actually got the skip on normal or thingy. Yeah, I'll have to check. The power of the tomb has drawn the attention of more than just the Legion. Thank you, Cadgar. I'm aware. Ooh, kelp fist. A rare. Must be a world quest. Quickly! Post our Leave ranks! None we standing. must push through! If we fail here, Azeroth burns. Yes. Let them that's come. heroic. The and that's monster. mythic. So I might actually already have this skip for normal. I can check. Once we once these guys piss off, I can I can check. Fall back. Well back to no. You still had to kill Goroth, didn't you? To get them over there to check if they're yep. Intruders! Killing you will regain my master. And if I don't have it, I should pick up the fucking quest. You will know pain. My shields are pacing oh, agony. No such luck. Battle! Alright, let's drop this here. We seem to have most of us there. Uh, ooh, this one's gonna be tight. If we get this. Talk to them and see. I do have the skip. Okay, so I don't need... I don't need the stuff, because I can skip it. Kill! I sealed each level of this temple so that no invader could descend into its depths. I've got none of the zone drops in normal. I anticipated that the Legion would find right. another way to breach its dark heart. You understood my use of the map. My protective wards now bar your way. Each seal can only be opened with one of the pillars. Yeah, we are we're having our asses handed to us. That's a game. First battle of the day. Just need some more friends. Sense one of the Legion's masters working to reanimate the avatar of Sargeras. Should kill Jaden infuse that husk with the Dark Titan's power? Not know that where any force on this world the end, can he deserved. Well done. The then we have no time to rest. Bring the tide still to us. The paths are open. Use the pillars queen. of creation Forsaw. to bypass Aegwin's wards before the Legion claims Slay the, the avatar. intruders. Take back what is ours. Hargitan, pummel their bones. Yeah, Oof is, Oof is right. What on earth is going on? The... Quiet, you mindless oaf. There we go. Kill them. It's okay. Grab that. So. What's going on? Are we gonna restart or something? Please. Rough battle, yeah, we just we don't have enough. We didn't have enough units. Why is this locked up? Cute, there we go. It's back and we will try again. Actually, we won't try again. We'll restart the Exit event. So the event's not going on anymore anyway. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Should be a little yeah. Alrighty, place your units. I'm not gonna get anything from Hosha Town because it's done. 
In fact, I don't think I need anything from Mistress Sazine either. I can just skip this whole wing. I don't have because I have the skip, so I don't have to go down here at all. But I, I can I go back? Oh, but there's trash. I want zone drops. Yeah, fuck. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do it anyway. I just don't have to actually kill the boss at the end. All right, I have seen that entries have closed. So, congratulations to Meaty! Meaty Bones the first. You have won the Cyber Vampire Stream Raider skin. Ah, uh, congratulations, me too. There you go. I've sent the code to you. Um, you can redeem that by going through the shop, I think, and then there's a button that says redeem code. Yay! Congrats! I'm gonna do a stretch. Enjoy your luck, dupe. We will see you soon. Have a couple of hydrates too. Hello, Yuri. How are you doing? How are you feeling? What is up? Oh, evade, hey? Right, there we go. Like shit. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I've been sleeping really, really badly. Um, like really badly. The last couple nights, so I'm much the same. But uh look, overall I'm doing okay. Overall I think I'm doing okay. <clears throat> No trash drops at all. Like, not giving me any loot. No sparkles. No sparkles for you. Okay, and I don't think there's any more trash in there. It's just straight through to Mistress, isn't it? Yep, and I don't need to kill her because I've got the skip and she drops nothing for me. So I'm gonna head up this way. <laughs> Doing my daily tanans, we're close to getting 150k, well done. Well done. So easy to get these days, they just like rack up super quick which is lovely. Absolutely lovely. has passed since I last walked these halls. Go, sisters of the moon. I did what needed to be done, though at great cost. Be on your guard. I... <clears throat> that for the actual potential for loot.
Bad so far for a chill Sunday. Repeatedly playing spell effect. It faded when the hot streak faded. Is that supposed to be telling me that I have a hot streak active? Alright, I would like some shoulder pads, please. My arrows are ready, ready sisters. Goddess, guide your hand. You are ever impetuous, Casparian. No more dawdling, Casparian. Victory shall be mine. You are in my way. My arrows I strike true. Dismiss these heretics, yet they. Get 113 no, I out of 162. Won. Oh, they must have counted for either I didn't update before with the um, maybe I didn't update it before when I got the zone drop. 113 out of 162. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. <clears throat> Doing pretty well, getting some drops. And some decent drops. Uh, is there any boss you should look out for mechanics or just nuke them all? Um, well, these are these are old content raids, uh, Rohim. Welcome on in, by the way. Um, so there are, I mean, there are occasional ones where if there's like a one-shot mechanic, you actually have to do it. Uh, but for the most part, most of them, you can just kind of nuke. Um, if you're doing it and you notice your health going down, or you notice that something's not working, like they're um like the the boss isn't taking damage or something like that. There might be a mechanic you need to do to, to break your shield or something like that. But um old raids for the most part, you'll only have like one or two maybe bosses in each raid where there's something wonky going on. Uh, but a lot of them a lot of them you can just stand there and burn it. The more recent the raid the more likely you're going to have to do something in terms of mechanics. This is also on normal, so this is a raid from Legion uh, on normal difficulty, uh, as opposed to like Heroic or Mythic. If it was on Mythic, there are a couple of things that I have to do, um, but on normal, not so much. I hope you're having a great day, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure from memory there's nothing I really have to do. Sargeras. Normal. At least not on a 60. If I was on one of my 50 tunes, maybe. But I tend not to bring them through here because it's just a little too touchy. They're not quite over leveled enough to breeze through. So it just takes too long. 
Beth is back. Perfect. There you go. Wonderful news. Don't stand in the traps. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Except that I trigger the traps because they spawn a mob that has a chance to drop the zone drops. So, like, you know, it's... Yeah. Ninety-four percent complete for looking for raid. It's not bad. Not bad. Did not get what I needed. That's okay. Minimize that one off as well. And I do have the skip for normal, so I don't have to grab the thingamajig. Now we run back! Yay! Hmm. Not a chance for some zone drops on our way back. So we need all three of them in normal. And they sell for a chunk, so. Sixty-nine point seven five. Bad. So my lowest now is Antorus at sixty-seven point five. That's actually really good. Like out of all of the dungeons and raids up to and including Legion, that's my lowest percent completion on Mage. That's that's pretty good. Made some decent progress. Maybe once the lowest one is like 70, then I'll start doing all 12 classes. Might be fun. Reckon we can get there today. <laughs> that would that would need another drop in uh in, in here, at the very least. And then a handful of drops in Antorus. Because they'd have to get above 70, of course. There are a lot that I have that are sitting at like 69. Quite a few. Ugh.
Come on. How did I manage to pl place that in, like, the biggest open space in the whole fucking room? Josh, friend has chosen Rogue for me to get to 41st. I guess I'm leveling Rogue right now. Brilliant. Enjoy. What is your goal for 2022 in WoW? I need some inspiration. Uh, well, at the moment, my goal is to finish my 5050s. Um, I set myself a challenge back in like June of last year to get a full account of 50 plus like level characters. Uh, and that is for Lovers in the Air, for the Heartbreaker farm, because I don't have it. I don't have the mount and I want it. So I'm gonna go get it. Um, so yeah, I'm currently like 94% of the way there. I've only got a handful of characters left. I think 20, no, 20, because we've got 30 now. So I've got 20 characters that are lower than 50, but all of them are 47 plus, so I'm real close. Um, that will, like that challenge has a due date of Feb 6. For the rest of the year, um, I'm not too sure at this point. Um, I just, at the, at the moment I wanna get that mount. I want to get the heartbreak amount, uh, and I'd also like to grab, um, like I'd like to finish off the events. So Lunar Festival at like January thirty first is um, the first event for the year, and I would like to be able to go and get some elder like the coins, the, the coins of ancestry, and buy all the co all the cosmetics and stuff, and just get all the rewards from Lunar Festival, so it's done. And then same thing for Lovers in the Air. Same thing for Noble Garden, etc. Just clear out all the events. Um, I think that'd be nice. Just take it off the list, you know. Uh, but yeah, I think at the moment that's sort of... I haven't really come up with any really big goals beyond getting my 50-50s done. Because it's just been such a fucking slog. It's been such a huge amount of effort. Um, so I kind of want to have a break before I launch in and do some other enormous thing, you know. But I'm sure other people in chat will have goals for 2022 that they can share as well. Hopefully, maybe. So let's see my current roster of tunes, 32 right now to level 60. Good goal. Good goal. Um, I am thinking about doing, like, there's there's kind of a bit of a joke in, in the channel. Like, you know, once 50-50s are done, when's Fear going to do 50-60s? And I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I, I work better when I have a deadline to, to work towards, like, you know, what's in the air. Um, so, given that there is no real deadline for getting all my tunes to level 60, it doesn't really... It's, you know, people talk about smart goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, um, relevant, and uh, time-based, like a, like a timeline. Uh, and that's the big thing for me, and most of my, my goals tend to need a timeline, they need a due date. Otherwise I'm just like, yeah, I'll get it done eventually. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, let's head down and do Maiden. So yeah, without a without a due date for 6060s, it, I don't think it'll get much progress. Um, but I could always just do like a leveling stream every couple weeks. See how we go from there. My eyes are just not happy chappies. It's been such a long time since I've had eyes that have been watering like this. I wonder what I've done. Just sting. Ah, oh, congrats, Sam! Well done! 
Good job. Yeah, Dark Moon Fair is going to be a really tricky one for me to get completed because they were talking about, you know, doing all the events. Um, DMF is one thing that I haven't finished yet, but the, the only couple of things that are left are to do with the, um, the mosh pit achievements, like the, the, um, uh, the band that plays in the cave. And the, the achievements that I specifically need from that, like, oh god, they need, most of them need a group. You need, like, coordination as a group to be able to get them done. Um, and they're like, you only get like one chance every hour or so, so it's kind of tricky to get a bunch of people coordinated. That relics don't get sold automatically with the with the Zygor system. It's really annoying. Alright, we seem to be good. Right, let's <clears throat> Okay, two things from Maiden of Vigilance. Let's see if we can what get either of them. What lies below is not for mortal eyes. I did not choose my fate. Neither will you. End me, mortals. My vigil ends. Let not. Hey, is that actually a. The dark no. One. No, it's not. Awaken. <laughs> not actually something that was. Well, actually, hang on. Didn't it say two? Wait. What? 114. So it did count. Why has it got two things ticked off in the... I'm so confused. Oh, it's one of the major only. Maybe that's why. There we go. 114. Well, Tomb of Sargeras is now over 70%. So, if I set myself... Like, I have to get to minimum 70 on my lowest, then uh, we are there for Tomb. It's one thing off the list. This blue is not for mortal as. When's 9 2? No idea, Path. This tomb like vermin, dispatching no my underlings and imagining yourselves the equals of the Legion. If you don't know, why do you think that I would know? Out of curiosity. Champions. Fools. The husk before you. If was there's once been like a, a blue post or something like that, then I haven't read it. Because uh, I tend this to. Temple itself is void, like prize. the Wowhead front page and stuff. The means by which we will reduce your world to cinders. Still, I will not deprive you of this chance to fall before an ancient Shut up. wonder. Let this avatar this. be the end of you. It's nice leveling with the ability to fly, isn't it just? It is. And those fear works for Blizzard, duh. I can confirm that I do not. Even if I did, there is a pretty good chance that that kind of shit would be covered by um, uh, NDAs anyway. of Azeroth, your master's crusade dies here! Is there no end to your sanctimonious bluster, Velen? You claim the mantle of profit, yet you always lack the vision to see the end of your destiny alone. Still, you I've just realized, does the last wing of LFR actually have 
It's got all that trash, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I fucked up. Oops. Don't have to go back and do the, the final, uh, final wing. Into sometime between tomorrow and the heat death of the universe. Ninety-nine <laughs> percent. Yeah, look, you're not wrong, Jack. You're not wrong. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. I always forget that there's a ton of trash at the end of this, because it's on the ship, right? Never. Our yeah. crusade will never yield. The Save portal is closing. We can seal the Legion's gateway and end again this invasion. And again, however long it takes, until at last we break you. So this is definitely a boss that you have that has a mechanic you have to do. Uh, <laughs> it's very fun. Very fun. This battle shall be your last. Still you resist. Then let me repay mm, your arrogance. Death, rain, consume them all. Because I'm the only one here. Come on. Consume them all. Champions, and I will grant you sight. In a second. Where's Illidan? Certainly helps a little bit. Survive. No matter. 
Look upon our wonders, you mortals, and despair. Behold the world that shall be your tomb! Done. My beloved home. Blind person granting his eye, I know, right? What have they done to you? Quite ironic. Thing. Did we get anything? I don't think we did. Can 14. Greetings. To the bridge. Okay. For today and go and do Antorus. Champion, our vessel requires power cores charged with the energy of fell geysers. These tattered mm. wings could prove useful should you find yourself. But alive. I think I'll do that last wing of LFR just for the trash and then port out again. See if we can't get that trash drop. And then head into Antorus. See if we can't get those numbers up. Awesome, thank you for the reminder. Okay. How many enemy units are there gonna be? 90 versus 298. Well, shit. Look, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Certainly giving it their all, aren't they? across the end of the earth looking for those last units. Wonderful. Look, little Fiamma Centurion. Adorable. All right, congratulations to Dupe, Chaos, Dunno, and Meaty on all your bonus shit, and I finally completed the Win 20 Campaign Battles quest. Fantastic. Still trying to level up those units. One more level 30. Place five mages. Good. Good. Uh, I'm going to place my last tank. No, I'm not. Mage has longer cooldown. Mage. She is. Just a second.
respond to my mom. All right. Um. Okay, and Taurus. And Taurus. So we're looking for Light's Breach first off the bat. Light bless you. I don't know how many zone drops I'm looking for. About to find out. Got 135 Light out of 200 force. items. Secure this position. The Vindicar will draw all the fire we can for Alien. I don't have anything for that. Cannot hold out there long. is a zone drop in here. Must just the one. The defenses. We will not or fail just the one that drops. I need for Champions. Mage anyway. We'll keep these winged beasts occupied while you clear a path. And then the designs from the hounds. Gaining ground. Press the attack. Ooh, Duke wants to scroll. Light board, fall back, champions. Bring that monstrosity down. Detected. Threat level nominal. Apocalypse drive engaged. Systems re-engaged. Rerouting power. Weapons prime. Some trash for some hopeful zone drops. There is please, otherwise go on. Get the level 10, nice! So well done. Well done. Our forces are moving towards Legion High Command. Buy us all the time you can, Valeria. Okay, well, how are you going? Welcome on in. Sargeras has left us a few of his <laughs> Not interested, Illidan. Go away. I very much like a design, though. That 
That's two demons down, but countless more await the attention of your blade. It's okay. Next time, I wouldn't get rejected. Indeed, he did. Indeed, he did. Recognize the trappings of the general's command. I don't have to go upstairs because I don't need anything from the last boss in here. But I will clear the trash just because trash drops. Group because I don't need the last boss. So that was Light's Breach. Hey, Atrud, how you doing? Welcome back. Well met. Forbidden descent. Go with honor. I don't think I need anything from the bosses in here, but I do again. Trash. 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 Yeah, that's right. So there's like I can do the loop. I don't actually have to kill any of the bosses in here to get to all the trash. Yours is next. Which also means that if I had to if I got to the point where I had to farm trash for trash drops, this would be the wing to do. Familiar voice calling. Perform away and say this accursed place. Champions, hear me. The Legion has breached my sanctuary, and my defenses will soon be overrun. Stand with me now. Transformer, it is all the dungeons and raid things. Yes, indeed. It's the hungry always. The life binder. This portal leads to her sanctuary. Go. I'll stay here, <laughs> cover your butt. What is it with the trash and being stingy with loot in here tonight? Timus Argeris was very generous. Give me some sparkles, come on. Bum, bum, bum. Can't get past there. There are some up there, but not worth killing bosses for it, I don't think. So, give instance. King's honor, friend. Rip's End, where I have an actual boss that I need loot from here. The Coven. I think it's one pair of pants. That is left. Beyond these blast doors lies the heart of the Legion's war. Yes. Fervent Twilight Leg Wraps.
This is the last piece of actual loot, like actual gear that I need that isn't a zone drop from this entire difficulty. There's the three designs, there's the zone drop, and then there's this one piece from Coven. It's very exciting. Spells, so much different. I will turn you to ash. Let's see how fast you can run. Such an honor. You will be tested. Oh, damn it. My ultimate weapon. So close. Now I'm Done. just extra buff. The Legion is in its death throes. Time to put our boots to their throats. of Antoris lies before us. The power behind the Legion's infinite army. So much agony here. So many. be very strange when I move to farming transmog on things that aren't mages. <laughs> very, very strange. Apparently my lowest percentage is Seat of the Triumvirate on Moria. 13.16%. I mean, it makes sense. I don't tend to play plate very often. My most popular alts are all leather. So it makes sense. But still, it's weird. She found me at last. Draw your but also, blade. they're all level 50, I so doing it is going to be a bit touchy. Look, maybe. the wretch struggles against the mortal intruders. Pathetic! Let them all I just have to put extra effort in. Demons <laughs> twisting the spirits of the titans, forcing them to use their might to serve the Legion. Should they fall to darkness, Zargeras will have the power he needs to claim the final titan. Your torment is only Alright, coven time. Let's get some pants. Out of 200. Let me bathe with them for a Amazing. Offer a bit of comfort. Remain here. Yay. The rest of us. 
He's gonna clear this trash in hopes of a drop. Then we will skedaddle. Onto normal. That's so exciting! Oh my god. 93.54 complete. For, for LFR. That's amazing. Mythic is atrocious, but that's fine. It doesn't take an average, it takes like a total, which is nice. <laughs> uh, let's go do normal, see if we can't push this above 70%. We're at 68, so I need four drops. Four drops to get to 70%. Alright. Um, yes. Let's go. So exciting! Love getting new drops. So what is happening? How is everyone? How have your weekends been? Did you do anything special yesterday? Two more. I've got um, so after Antorus, I've got uh, Nighthold is at sixty nine point zero one, so that's under seventy. And then I've also got Cathedral of Eternal Night, which is under seventy, but that's a dungeon for um, Legion. But I don't think that they'll be the lowest. I think. I think there'll be something else that'll be the lowest, but we'll see. We will see. Right, grab a couple drops from Antorus and that should push it up. Antorus is still the lowest at 68. So that's something. BFA Veil Grind because my Pandaria wormhole threw me here and I accepted my destiny. I love that. So what are you what are you what are you grinding? Like you're doing the um obviously like the zone quest and all that kind of stuff, but are you farming like rares and shit too? Okay, raid, normal, let's do this. We breached the wall. Light forged. Secure this position. The Vindicar will draw all the fire we can, Torarian. But we cannot hold out long. You must disable their defenses. We will not fail you, Prophet. Champions, we'll keep these winged beasts occupied while you clear a path. Doing quest for Paragon Wrap. The pet someday probably will camp for res too. Nice. Nice. What do you finally gave out? Let me sleep for a long time since losing my dog. I'm just chilling and lovely now. Happy to have stream going. Aww. I'm glad that I can help, at least in a tiny itty bitty little itty tiny way, <laughs> you know? I'm glad you got some rest though. That's really important. Really important. Sometimes you just gotta keep going until your body gives up, hey. Just keep it going and yep, okay, sure. Let's keep doing this and then your body goes, okay, sleep time. It's like, oh, thank fuck for that. Let's try that. <laughs> oh, good distraction for some people. Yeah, of course. No, I totally feel the same way. Like, it, it doesn't, whenever I'm streaming, it never feels like I'm in a room by myself with a set of headphones. It just doesn't, that's not what it feels like. It also doesn't feel like I'm surrounded by people, but 
it's somewhere in between. It's a, it's weird. There are I don't think there are quiet words to describe what it feels like, but I like it, and so I keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I saw you guys posting the little squares and stuff in Discord. Systems be engaged. Be routing power. Weapons primed. Apocalypse drive engaged. Systems re-engaged. Rerouting power critical system. Crown of Relentless Annihilation. Hey! Terrellian. Get! I've started my assault 137. The I'll keep their forces occupied so you can hit the point. There we go, 68.5. Our forces are moving towards Legion High Command. Buy us all the time you can. Ah, uh, you'd be proud of me. My very fir my first ever WoW spreadsheet yesterday. Oh, well done, Kim. What does your spreadsheet help you with? What does it do for you? Uh, you'd be more frequent than that. So let's catch up. Oh, what are you tracking? Yeah, I agree. Like, what are you tracking? What is it doing for you? I actually got to sit down and do some cross stitching yesterday, which felt really good. Um, my big my big project is now. 12% complete, which feels really good. Professions mostly awesome. That's really good news. Well, hopefully it helps you figure out what you're trying to do and how to get there. This fucking eye just will not even. spreading she's influencing again I am I'm good at that apparently Sargeras has left us a few of his favorite all right another chance at a design for a jewel crafting crown. He is hoping. In this economy, I know, right? My music is always so lit, I'll never not believe it. I agree. I agree. Do you know all of the uh, all of the soundtracks are available for free on Spotify V? Like all the actual albums that you used to get in the um, in the collector's editions and stuff like that, they're all on they're all on Spotify. Not have to add it. There you go. Now you know. Yeah, just type in World of Warcraft into the search bar, and you should get a playlist with everything in it. Uh, it's what I tend to use if I'm doing a stream that isn't a game stream, but it's like, for example, when we did the puzzle, like the, the Shadowlands puzzle, like Jigsaw puzzle, um, that's what I used. I used the um, the, the playlist from there um, to, to have something in the background. It worked quite well. Alright, we have to go up and do Entor and High Command, even though I don't need to, technically. Let's go do that. Okay, you're very, very welcome. Very welcome. Spreadsheet who translates to cross stitching. I did see an email come through, and I thought it might have been you because it said tartan, and I'm like, oh, I reckon that's dupe. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I will have a look through. That would be very cool. I can't. 
imagine that it wouldn't. Because it just, it makes a pattern, right? And if I, if I have, instead of like saying green or blue or whatever, I just stick in like DMCA colors, um, like codes for the colors of the threads. And then instead of weaving, I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll work. If not, I'll make it work. Figure it out. I recognize the trappings of the general's command. Mm. A DMC. Yeah, okay. Look, I've been talking too much about DMC, eh? Fuck. Um, but no, yeah, DMC. It's the, it's the brand. God, thank you for correcting me, though. My brain is melting. Clearly. It's been too warm these last few days. Too fucking warm. However, I will say, um, I tried a, uh, um, What's it? Uh, ice creams from Woolworths the other day. Um, I was looking for dairy-free stuff, um, but in interesting flavors because so often the dairy-free stuff is just like chocolate or vanilla, and sometimes it's mango. But I like stuff with bits in it. I like interesting, like the Ben and Jerry's shit with all the different stuff in the yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I ended up getting a, a tub of Ben and Jerry's vegan, it's made with almond milk and it's got cookie dough chunks and stuff in it. Um, but there was also, uh, ice, like ice creams that were on a stick that I think, I think the brand's called Proud and Punch. Like, like Proud as Punch, but Proud and Punch. And it was, they're made, again, made with almond milk. Um, and they were chock banana. And it's got actual, like, bits of banana all through it and they're just so fucking tasty they are so rich and delicious holy cow they're so good so good really really tasty Run DMC. <laughs> uh, it's tricky magnums are good yeah peanut butter one's pretty good too Ooh, this is from Woolies. yeah it was from Woolworths uh, I'm not sure whether or not Coles will have them, because, you know, sometimes they have exclusives between the two. But, um, yeah, they're really, really good. And they had a couple of other flavors, I think, but I like, was specifically drawn to Chuck Banana, because it's just a great combination of flavors. Um, so yeah, it was really tasty. Vegan Magnums and Drumsticks. Oh, I'll have to check them out. I'll check them out. Um, yeah, not like, not that I'm vegan. I'm not. I'm not vegan. I'm definitely not vegan. But um, when it comes to ice cream and bubble tea and stuff like that, if I have a lot of it and it's got dairy in it, I get like my tummy gets a bit upset. And I've been like my my digestive system has been a little bit off lately. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just because I'm sick and so like my whole body's sort of just like, nah, I can't be fucked. Uh, so I wanted something that was tasty and felt like a treat and that was, you know, comfort food and cold um, and dessert-like, but that wasn't going to piss off my digestive tract more than it already was. So I thought, fuck it, let's go for, let's go for something um, uh, non-dairy. And I asked Jas what he felt like, um, like icy or creamy, and he specifically said creamy. So I was like, okay, I'll look for something that's, that's uh, vegan for then, because that that'll, that'll mean I can without do it without my stomach leadership. revolting. The Legion will fall into chaos. Choc banana, more than chocolate banana, don't at me. Ah, uh, it depends. It depends. Um, if it's, like, if it's actual fresh strawberry flavour with, like, the tang and all that kind of stuff with it, absolutely. Um, but if it's, like, that fake strawberry flavour, if it's strawberry syrup flavouring, then no. no. Strawberry, like, syrup flavour is not as good. Not as good. Um, but, I mean, I was in the mood for chocolate, because, uh... I also asked Jess, okay, do we want do we want fruity or do we want like choc, vanilla, caramel, that kind of grouping of like hazelnut, that kind of grouping of flavours or fruity flavours? And he said he wanted the the other grouping of like the not fruity ones. Uh, and so I was like, hmm, chocolate banana still counts. <laughs> but I get my fruity kick. So yep, yeah, that was uh that was my way of making it work for me. Uh alright, this one. Because when you're buying stuff to share, you need to make sure that everyone's happy, you know, as, as much as can be. It's basic, yes, I get it, you're an ally to the vegans, yeah. <laughs> this is Helix was vegan. Now, Vejo, ah, interesting. 
Uh, can I request healers instead of flag bearers if it's not too late? I got my hundred of them. Oh, awesome! Yeah, it should be fine. We'll, we'll just see what pops out, hey? We'll see what uh, drops at the end that I can actually give you. Because if I can't, if neither of them drop, then no. You cannot have. <laughs> Right, no, so you got Paladin, Rogue, or Archer. There's not even any gold. So Paladin, Rogue, or Archer, your call. Uh, there's one Paladin, or three Rogues, or three Archers. Your call. Rogue, can do. That's that one, right? Good. Uh, where are you? Duplicate Helix. Congratulations also to Inquisitor and Litterbox for your bonus shit. Well done. Why does it not show me my redemptions? I need to refresh, I think. <sighs> oh, no, there we go. That's what I thought. Um, Archers and Pallies are already at 10. Good call. Good call. Oh, I have a stretch that I can do. And a hydrate. Mm. So bandages on Insta. Oh, it was a clip. Yeah, yeah, that was a clip from like. God, almost two months ago now. <laughs> it was from when I had dental surgery. You should have watched the clip, it was hilarious. I explained why I had bandages on my face. It was great, it was one of my favorite clips. Some clip. Very funny. Uh, okay, so we jump back into that one and we're gonna go over here and go all the way back. Um, come on. Out. Ball keeper has well. Ah, okay, cool. So we're, yep. I know where we're going. Um, no, so I'm gonna type so that I wonder what the fuck it was supposed to say. Look, context matters. Context really helps, hey. Excuse me. Where am I going? Oh, shit. Is this where I'm meant to go? I don't think it is, but that's okay. Let's uh, go up this way. This is like, where are they gone now? Yeah. Legit laughed when you framed it as a fight with the surgeon. You had the advantage because you were sleepy times. Yup. I was knocked out. Like, I was literally under, under anesthesi anesthesia. How the hell am I supposed to fight back? <laughs> Good morning, Groovin. Champions. Hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's good to, like, I have a bit of fun with tossing some of my older favorites in with the uh, the more recent clips. Because so many people have joined us really recently, so they haven't had a chance to see this stuff from a little while back. And some of them are fucking gold. So, <laughs> so I've been tossing a couple of slightly old. Not, not like super old. Maybe we'll toss some super old ones in there eventually. But uh, we'll see how we go. I heard a familiar voice calling. So I fought hey, away and say this accursed huh? place. Champions, hear me. The Legion has breached my sanctuary, and my defenses will soon be overrun. Stand with me now, lest Sargeris Clips. slay me. Oh no, yeah, it's just baby tune. It's just baby tune. <laughs> I don't actually need anything from A and R, but I have to. I do have to do it, right? Otherwise, it won't let me go through the wall to. Um... No, but there's a skip to Imanar, isn't there? Look, let's try this. I want to see if this works. Cause I don't need. I I, I don't even. I don't even need um, Hazabel. Um, but I'll t I'll take out the trash though. Get it. 
but I'm just kidding. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do this. I know LFR is a bit wonky. But if I can save time not having to kill bosses that I don't need, just using the skips, that would be fantastic. So I can skip to... The Legion's ranks are crumbling, but they still outnumber us. Come. My forces will Speak keep them engaged me. here. You will not be fighting alone, Tyrellian. The My demons will pay for every step you. with their Heroic blood. Okay. So I think I've already got the normal types. If no. we don't stop them, I don't. I get to the exhaust though. There's no time to waste. Beyond these blast doors lies the heart of the Legion. This is what I need. This is Imanar. Halt! Do I have to kill Agrima to get the skip for... You'll go no further, mortal scum. Your heads will adorn my trophy room! Time for a little carnage. Eh. Couple there, XA. <laughs> hey Kaz, how you going? <laughs> Delete as per appropriate or per preference. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. Well, it is 6.02 p.m. here, so I think I've just hit evening. And then like isn't like 8 p.m. night or something? We had this debate like ages ago, and I'm not I'm still not 100 percent sure like what the technical kind of what's it is. Hydrate or dihydrate? Look, I feel threatened. Nice demonstration of cause and effect, yeah. I regret taking this job. I got one of the things I needed! Fantastic! So it's at 138. <gasps> Guys, we're getting so fucking close. We're at 69%. Barrett and hold is oh fuck. Barrett and hold's now my lowest. Oh, fuck. Baradon holds a bitch. I've actually done Baradon hold on fear this week. Um, and I went through and did it on my priest as well. Because the stuff I need on fear to get the percentage up is all mostly, I think there's a couple of mage things, but it's mostly priest, mage, warlock. So I thought, yeah, I'll go through all my clothies. And then the actual fight for Baradon hold happened. I was like, shit. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. But that's fine, we'll see how we go. Maybe I'll start cycling through tunes. I'm pretty sure Baradon Hold should be up 
Uh, actually, no, it's been over an hour since I did that fight, so it might have switched to Alliance now. But I do have Alliance tunes, so. Oh, there's that. In fact, I think even my leveling tunes would be safe to go through Baron and Hold. Because of how low level it is. Test subjects. You should do nicely. This is a threat. Threatened. Tis what I do. It is what you do. All 16 of my Shire runs the map doesn't exist. Ah, oh, candy. It is one in 2000. So 16 is not really that much, Josiah. <laughs> um, when we did my that six hours of Shire farm on Monday, just gone. Just gone. Like a week ago. Um, I did 25 runs. Which means that I could actually do two streams a week of Shah Farm until it drops and do literally all 50 tunes every week. I am sorely tempted. Honest to God, I would like to cross that mount off my list. I think I would go literally just, I think I'd lose my mind though. So I'm not sure how I feel. Maybe I just try and see how long it takes me before I just throw my arms in the air and go, FUCK THIS! <laughs> would you- would you- would, would that be fun for you guys? Yeah, yeah, watch- watch Fia lose her mind permanently. Hello, ex. <laughs> right, okay, well, he's got his shield up. Brute force, love to see it. I mean, look, if I've got a full account, I've got to use them for something, right? And what what better than Shafa? I've got 400 and something attempts on it. Let's see if we can get it in under 2k. Like, what have I got? 427 attempts on it. It wouldn't take me that long to get to 2,000, surely. 50 per week. 100 per fortnight. Return to the Vindicar and prepare to strike the killing blow. The burning throat. The heart of Antoris lies before us. Don't lose mine because mental health is important. It is. You're so right. You're so right. But if I'm doing it on stream, I have you guys to keep me company and keep me chatting and stuff like that. So I don't think I'd quite lose my mind. I would be very surprised if I had anything left to get from Shah in terms of gear by the time that mount dropped. Like, how how pissed on a scale from one to ten, how pissed do you think Fear would be if she got the mount and she still had to farm Shah for Transmog? Only at 300. Get motivated for a few weeks and abandon all hope. Well, I've been doing it as like a bonus thing, as like a stream goal, you know, put your put your thing in and we'll do one Shah Farm stream next month. But what if I did it every week? It would be fun. It'd be great, surely. I misplaced mind instead of losing it. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. On a scale of one to 10, orange. Yeah, look. <laughs> accurate, accurate, Jack. Oh, so accurate, it hurts. Okay, whew, we're fine. Okay, Imanar's done, so I can't get anything else from Imanar. She's just gonna nom some shit, last. just so that this thing stops depleting my uh, stats. There we go. Look, the wretch struggles against the mortal intruders. Pathetic! Let them all burn! Yes, that's exactly how I would be, V. I'd just sit here, I'd get the mount, and then be like, Oh, look it! I need seven more things on, on Shaman and Hunter. And then I'd just kind of like... Yeah, it'd be great. They're all PvP things though, right? Like... Death claims us all. His fate was ours to decide. You will pay for Should your they insolence, fall to mortals. 
Argeris will yeah, have it's the all... power he needs to claim so many the shit final How title. many? Are they all cloaks! Right, that makes sense. Malevolent Gladiator Season 12. Does that mean I could buy them with um, Marks of Honor? To just get them off the fucking list? All right, Coven, Runebound Mantle, please. You cannot escape the shadows. I want to see your limbs roasting. Hmm, <laughs> internet added from his moments of middle age, she well done, Sheba. The best thing about learning how to do something yourself is that you never have to rely on others to like you if you want to get it done you don't have to wait for them to be available or any of that you can just get it done no matter what it's it's just such a good feeling independence <laughs> no room bound mantle i do have zoomy zoom though so much suffering let me buy this Where is Magni? offer a bit of comfort doesn't Magni give me the quest around here somewhere? Because I don't have the skip for normal. And I would so like it. Close now to the end. Cause I couldn't skip straight to Agrimar. Or is it up here somewhere, maybe? I had a column for expansion and the counter to show how many teams I have in each one. Perfect. Like count if blah blah blah. Yeah, count ifs are great. That's how, you know, all the things on the side with the night elves and the, the warriors and the blah blah blah, all that kind of shit? That's count ifs in there. So, out of this whole region, count it if it equals this particular word. It does mean you need to spell shit right though, because if you spell it wrong, it won't count it. So just double check your shit, <laughs> like, <laughs> especially when it comes to um, expansion names and stuff like that, just because a lot of them aren't real words, um, so spell check won't help, but yeah, you put your spreadsheet and figuring stuff out. Yay! I'm so proud of you. Look at you go. Look at you go. Where the fuck is my quest to get the skips going? Oh, fuck you in your Tashalak. You may have withstood the flames, but you will not withstand my fury. Stand and die. The power of Tashalak will consume you. Ah, uh, I don't reckon it will. Your modicum of skill will be insufficient to save you! Let the flesh be seared from your bones! Uh, the flames will consume you! Very cool. Your friends for making it dynamic. It does it. But he's only nine point three. Yeah, isn't it amazing? He can stand beside his brethren once more. I need anything I needed from Agamar. I needed two things. See, he's he's asking for the rune of passage. Azeroth remains in grave. Is that? The Titans can sever. But that's from. They need to bring the soul That's from Imina on Heroic. Power, the seat of the Pantheon. The very cradle of I creation. Speak for Azeroth. I don't need anything the final act will from the last of Argus's power Buckface. to imprison Sargeras once um, and for all. Heroes, I can signal the Titans to begin. Once they start their ritual, there's no turning back. 
Most times don't stand up the 30th time around in D3 beta, Sergeant Rumford. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Yeah, you have, bro. We have met earlier. Yeah. In the raid. Yeah, but what? Our time is oh. now, hero. Rest the burning throne, dark passage. <laughs> Normal difficulty. Hey, Orforsen, how are you going? My exact trillion. Oh, okay, I see. I have to actually go in. Yeah. Well I get you. I get right, you. Everybody. Hold on. <clears throat> Death. Death and pain. Let the fury of the sea wash away this corruption! to me, Unmaker, the one force that can bind your relentless fury. So I've missed a quest to pick up somewhere. <clears throat> um, sleepy looking for writing a paper. Good luck, thank you. Is boosting in WoW cheap? Define boosting. Like, do you mean, like, purchasing a character boost to put you at close to max level? Or do you mean, like, getting dungeon runs for gear, etc.? Like, what, what do you mean by boosting exactly? Hey, Alex! Welcome back. There are so many things that the player base considers boosting in WoW, so... And some of them are cheap and some of them are expensive. It would help if you knew exactly what you're talking about. Dungeon runs with boosting friend. Uh, if you're doing it with a friend and they're charging you, no! then I mean you might have the wrong friends. Oh, we have endured. Um, but not end this way. I'm not sure about like getting dungeon runs Hope to get gear. Lost, High Father. The spark of life still Most people usually just jump in a group with friends, so there's no gold changing hands. So it, it's not like cheap or expensive, it's just something that's not really offered because people do it with friends. Hmm. Uh, I have a question. What covenant you recommend for a BM Hunter or Demon Hunter? Whichever one you like. Whichever one is fun for you. I don't min max, so I'm the wrong person to ask for that, unfortunately. Um, there's a lot of guides as to what is like best for Mythic Plus and, and Raiding uh, on Wowhead. Uh, lots and lots of guides that are written by some of the top players in the game. But um, I'm I'm a person who plays for fun. Uh, so yeah, whatever's most enjoyable, whichever of the Covenant abilities works well with your playstyle. Um, whichever transmog you like the look of the most, etc, etc. Uh, hey, I'm mad. I have one friend that did not charge me but thought it's still a thing. Thank you. You're very welcome, Alex. Not a problem. Um, look, it might still be a thing, I just haven't really seen it much. Um, yeah, I guess it just depends. Maybe it depends on the server. 
I haven't seen it much, but I also haven't gone looking for it, so that probably doesn't help. We must unite against the Legion. We um, so, I think I've... Okay, so Dark Passage jumps you straight to Imanar. And then Heart of Argus near Broken Cliffs teleporter. So this is Prophet Velen. We'll give you the Heart of Argus. He doesn't. Uh, maybe because I haven't done... Um... No, I do have the Imanar skip here. So why can't I pick up the... That's really odd. That's really odd. Oh well. I think it's some mechanics you need to learn in dungeon, so... So what? Of course you need to learn mechanics in dungeons. That also depends on the content if you're looking to min-max dungeon boost for like 150k gold, if I remember correctly, at least for 15s. I don't think Forzen is talking about um, Mythic Plus though, Jack. Um, the, the, when I asked what it was about, uh, it was specifically dungeon runs with boosting friend. Like no mythics, no no mythic plus um, in in the fat in the equation there. Uh, love night for being hunter because I feel the soul shapes fit with the pets. Perfect, they go. It's awesome. Right, that's really frustrating that I can't seem to pick up the agramaskip, even though I've got the agramaskip. It's really weird. It's not like I haven't killed the whole- like, I've cleared the whole place a bunch of times. <clears throat> if it says, um... I'm also thinking, yeah, nobody does that anymore. Oh, uh, not for- I, I was assuming it was for, um like gearing up and stuff but yeah I just like you just do it with a bunch of friends and then you know you gear stack so you can funnel stuff through and yeah that's uh played years ago it might be changed now yeah fair enough uh xp isn't high enough from normals without q and that scale so over leveling isn't worth yeah yeah agreed agreed uh right so I'm still at 69% I still need two more drops to get to 70 so we're gonna try on heroic and see if I can get a drop or two We and break can't... the wall! Light forged! Like, Secure this position! Off the quest for me. The Vindicar will draw all the fire we can, Peralion. But we cannot hold out long. You must disable the defenses. We will Why not can't fail, I... Prophet. Champions, we'll keep these winged beasts occupied while you clear a path. It specifically says false. Like, I haven't completed this quest to get the skip. But it won't let me pick it up. It's so weird. I don't understand. Fucking whatever, I guess. and chat for that matter. Um, that's a really good question. I'm not 100% sure. Whatever Jas feels like cooking, I guess. Uh, if you want to learn dungeon mechanics for Shadowlands, you could just use LFG for normal or heroic dungeons a few times. Agreed, yeah. Um, and if you're a little bit nervous about it being kicked for not knowing mechanics or whatever, um, it doesn't usually happen on normal. Because uh, most people who are in normal cannot get into heroic. So that's probably your best place to start. Um... And you can always, like, read the in-game adventure guide. It tells you what kind of mechanics happen and usually how to dodge them and stuff. Mechanics, aren't they? You can learn the ones which are before you win Mythical Monster Plus. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, fuck. Inventory's full. I think the skips might be bugged at the moment from the streamer earlier that was having the same issue. Okay. Closer and don't That's unfortunate. Fine. Leave. I was done talking to you anyway. Come back with some better stuff. Um, I might. Not everything in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered as I am. 
I hate this, that it actually loads up the website in the thing. Like, it used to just be like a submit bug thing, and then it'd bring up a box and it'd shoot straight through. Like, why do you have to load a website in-game to be able to submit a bug? It's just so silly. Um, if because healer cooled so much and I died. <laughs> yeah, is that really a group you want to be in? Um, submit. Back or bug report. Submit bug. Uh, in normal difficulty, Antorus, the burning throne, Prophet, Velem does not offer me a quest to earn skip to Agrimar. Is that how I spell Agrimar? Ah, yes. The in-game script turns the value false, so I know I haven't completed it before. I can because it is specifically. Returns the value false. I haven't completed it before. Cool. Done. Thank you. Uh, and that would scare you so little. <clears throat> Kicks up in a normal. Don't worry about it. I still get kicked in normals. <laughs> yeah. Look, I I don't understand why people do that, but that's that's fine. Snags on bread, boys call them bunning sausages and veggies, yum! Few priests just to not wait in queues, need to make some food. Have a great day, not a worry, you too! Enjoy your food. Good morning, Z, how are you doing? Good morning, Miko. Welcome back. Come back with some better stories. <clears throat> Many fucking relics in my bags. Okay. I need up a bit at least. Afternoon, Draz. Greetings, sir. Welcome back. I need a lot more from Heroic than I do from Normal, so fingers crossed a lot more will drop. But we'll see. We'll see. I only need two drops to get above 70%. Congrats to Bay, Zam, Dunno, Inquisitor, and Aurelia on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards to the next one. I have a bunch of hydrates, don't I? Yes. Can't do mage yet. So I'll work on leveling. I do believe that one's on cooldown. Okay, so I don't need anything from the first boss, so that's good. Bring that monstrosity down! Detected. Threat level nominal. Apocalypse drive engaged. Mm. 
Systems re-engaged. Rerouting power. Weapons prime. Um. Um, he doesn't have an apocalypse drive. Ha- Did I- Fuck. <laughs> he doesn't have anything for me to kill. Because I must have killed them both at the exact same time before. So is this now just bugged? Like, is this- Nope, okay good. It's timed. Wonderful. So pleased. <laughs> Shit. Okay, fell hounds. I've started my assault. One design on out of the three would be very, very nice. Very, very nice. I need all three zone drops from Heroic. Maybe one of them will drop today. Although I think I spent all my zone drop, drop luck, uh, zone drop luck in two Misageras. Sargeras has left us a few of his favorite pets. Drops, I you will at least one drop this run. I could. I could. Problem is the runs take ages, and if I did a prediction right at the very start for approximately 10 seconds, and then no one got an answer for about 45 minutes, it's not it's not so fun. Like it's not something that people can constantly engage with. Hey! Oh I got one of the designs! Amazing! Fuck yes. Boom! 142! Because that can drop on every different thingamajig. That jumped four. So we're now on 71%. That's fantastic. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy. So happy. That's just, ah, oh, that's great. Yeah, the predictions worked really, really well for like the the beans, you know, the the um, bean boozled, the yum or yuck, because I can open it up for twenty seconds and let everyone do the thing, and then pop it in my mouth, 
eat it or spit it out and people get an instant feedback thing. Um, so that worked really, really well. But uh, for stuff that takes the this Legion's long, ranks are crumbling, not so much. Still yeah, Valen doesn't offer My me anything here either. Do I have any skips? You will not be fighting alone, oh, I do. Okay, I have. By the looks of it, I have both skips on Heroic anyway. Step. But I don't want to use it because I need stuff from from a bunch of bosses. Um, so Antoron Hackerman's the first one. I am still going to finish this heroic run or go as far as I can anyway, uh, because I want zone drops and I want transmog. Seventy-one percent. That's amazing. I'm so happy. Yay! This is awesome. Uh, what you're saying is you want more beans? No, I don't. I have plenty though. I bought three more boxes from Aldi back when they had them right before Christmas. Um, so I've got still like half of the last box I had, plus another three boxes. But we do have, we do have the anniversary, my stream anniversary stream at the end of Feb. And it's like a joint birthday stream thing. So maybe, maybe we have some fun there. Maybe, maybe we have some fun there. That's what you heard as well. Look, maybe you guys need to like clear your ears out or something. One of those, you know those Audi clear? You spray the stuff in and all the earwax like pours out. Yep, I think maybe that's something that you need. <laughs> I heard more beans. Oh. You all need your hearing checked. so happy that I got one of the designs. Half of the designs are done now. That's awesome. What means this person brought them to a barbecue and there's a Helix system? Oh, did they enjoy them? Or did they throw the whole box away? <laughs> I still have a couple more hydrates in here, I think. Might actually finish the bottle off. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, Runebound Cape and Minari Pyromancer Cuffs. Two Transmog. One of them is specifically Mage. This should be fun. This is one engagement you will not walk away from! Show these weaklings why we are the dominant force in the cosmos! I have calculated your odds of survival. Zero! Watch your step. Nothing. Okay. The war That's okay. Paid for their treachery. Uh, Hazabel is next on the list. But I don't need to do a &R. I just have to go do Hazabel and then I can skip to Imanar. 
Eight to you is good. Plenty of people had turns. One person kept trying till they got a good one because they were convinced we were all playing a prank on them. Ah, that's great. I love that. How many bad ones did they have before they had to have a good one? Before they got a good one? Champions, there is a disturbance close to your location. Oh, they wanted the chocolate pudding. Felt since the opening of the dark. Did anyone like not spit out the bad ones? Did they eat them to completion? To gather reinforcements, and it must be destroyed before we are overwhelmed. You did the dog! <laughs> well, I guess they don't contain actual chocolate, right? So... Champions! I heard a familiar voice calling! The fuck are we in saying this mm. cussing, please! Champions, hear me. The Legion has breached my sanctuary. And my defenses will soon be overrun. Alrighty, Hasabel. Stand with me now, lest Sargent. Gloves or boots? Your choice. Prize. Preferably both, but I need at least one. It's Give me at least one of them. The life binder. This portal this leads to our sanctuary. Go. I'll stay what? here. Witness Cover your eyes. A world of infernal heat and scorched bones. Gaze upon Rancora. A landscape of festering pools and skittering death. Nathreza. Once a world of magic and knowledge. Now, a twisted landscape it from which none escaped. I got one! I got one! 143. 71 and a half. Right, Tim and all. Clear out some more trash just for those zone drops. And we'll head over to Imana and hope for the best. <clears throat> oh, 
the fuck was happening there? <laughs> Zygor is so nice to have. You are not wrong. Zygor, Zygor is fantastic. Like, it's the just so useful. The heart of the so useful. Halt! You'll go no further, mortal scum. The Your heads will adorn my trophy room to collect. Keep up, if you can. I should screw up the pieces and collect my fee. Noted. Okay, that's fine. Come on, do a respawn. I like it because it's dragging me to quests I've never done before. All the side quests I missed. Yep. Yep. And it's, it's the most efficient route as well, like, although I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's the most efficient route to do Ball Master for each of the zones. Your heads will adorn my trophy room. So there are some of the quests there that people may feel aren't the most efficient in terms of getting the You've experience, but it's the most the efficient portals. route to get Ball Master, which is nice. Well, I got my Rune of Passage, so I have two of those now, I think, for Heroic. But I did not get any drops. But I already have the skip somehow. Or maybe it's because I... Mm, I don't know. Maybe I had that there because I'd already beaten a few things. Sure. Strange. Right, Coven. I can't skip to Agrimar and then backtrack to Coven, can I? Like the door closes behind me. Tricks don't work on me. It's because he needs to train more. I will turn you to ash. There is no escape. Yeah. 
Such an honor. You will be test subjects for my ultimate weapon. Thank you, X. Much appreciated. Why doesn't the shield end early if you kill all of them? <laughs> it appears adjustments still need to be made. You're welcome. The Legion is in its death throes. Alrighty, let's go do Baron Mathras and come. Um, that's a bottle empty, but we're only we're not even halfway through stream. So the what I think is I think I might take that chair stream I've got to go refill my bottle. Who am I and what have I done with fear? Starting to lean a little, am I? Oh, my bad. I do a stretch. And I'll do a posture check, but uh, I'm gonna go refill my bottle and I'll be right back. Run away, little girl! Run away! <laughs> Boogie down! Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 da
I heard you spammed Baby. all of the things. <laughs> Good job, well done. Um, no chicken or beef at the moment. However, I have learned we are having steak for dinner. So there will be beef. There will be beef. <clears throat> Does Cher have a throne account? I feel like they need a new hat and maybe some bling. Well, no, but I feel like if Cher did make a throne account, uh, that Cher would be on the waiting list for very, very long, like entirely too long. Um, so what I would recommend is uh, that Cher and I share a throne account. So if you can think of things that you think Cher might like, suggest them on my throne account. And if, if I'll, I'll have a discussion with Chair, and if Chair likes the suggestions, then uh, maybe we'll approve them. More important question is, does the Chair have an OnlyFans account? No. No. No one in this house has a, uh, or no one in this apartment has an OnlyFans account. So I feel like I get judged entirely too much for having an OnlyFans account. underlings to finish the job. So we should get Cher those fat eyelashes. Seized your Maybe. Hides and bones. Was your allegiance I swear you didn't get them from. Trusting the spirits no. of the titans, forcing them to use the might to serve the legion. Or were should they fall to did. darkness? Sargeras will have it the power he not. needs to claim the you final are blind titan. To the darkness in your it's content creator Cher is sub to all the top creators. Love that for sure. Na, 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 na. Congratulations to Atom, Miko, LK, uh, Fairy, rather, and Draz on all your bonus shits. Well done. Congratulations. Onwards we go to the next battle. Mm, I don't think I can play some mage yet. No, so I'm going to keep working on leveling. How far are we? Oof, like a quarter of the way. Ah, oh, about almost a third. Almost a third of the way to my next 30. Let's take out Varimathras. Nothing, I don't need anything from him. Um, but I need him to be dead so I can do Coven. Which I do need things from. Two things, in fact. 4% chance on both of them. Yuck. Damnable witches! <clears throat> Death claims us all. Let's go. His fate was ours to decide. You will pay for your insolence, mortals. And then Barrett and Hold, where we're gonna have to chop and change a bunch of tunes. It's gonna be great fun. It sucks. The, the Barrett and Hold, like, the, the drop chance of each item is, like, less than 1% on the fucking drop table. It's just because of how big the, the loot tables are. It's insane. Just absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> and we've got to make sure that the right faction has control, of course. Let's see how we go. so vulnerable, trembling in the dark. Roasting. The pan 
it's dropped again. Yay! Amazing. 144. Yeah, cleaning up today. Alright, Agrima, your turn. The rest of us will go on. So close now to the end. Hey, a nurse. Doing well, thanks. How are you going? Always good when the pants drop. I mean, look, it depends. It depends. Sometimes it's a toddler who needs a, a change of nappy and they drop their pants and then run away from you because they think it's funny and a game, then it's not good when the pants drop. <sighs> I speak from experience. This may be the one place uh, <laughs> in the universe sacred to the Legion. Is your weekend going? Very, very well, thank you. I'm having a wonderful weekend. You're okay, thanks, bit tired? Yeah, look, me too. I had a rotten, like the last couple of nights have been terrible for sleep. Absolutely terrible. So I feel that. I feel that. <clears throat> right, so Barrett and Hold I've done on Fear and I've done on Benedicta, so the next one will be Kira after I've done after I finish this run. I have to jump onto Kira. Ah, oh, slash oddly specific. Yeah, yeah. Young child. I'm, um, you know, talking to his sister while watching some some TV show or something. And he he runs into the room and he goes, "I did a poo," and then runs back out of the room. And I'm like, "Ah, shit!" So I had to change him around the like run, chase him around the house, trying to grab him so that I could change his nappy. And of course, at some point, he shed his dax. Um, so I'm like, great, wonderful, Tasteless brilliant. Power is <laughs> yeah, look, babysitting. So much fun. At least he told me that he needed a change, you know? It's nice of him. My fury. Get the hose, yep. <laughs> Take him outside, get him to stand there while I hose him down. No escape. Sometimes you gotta, yep, yep, agreed. Sometimes you gotta. Wonderful congruity. Do ah, uh, what do the pants transmog look like that you're farming? Oh, I'm farming a bunch of stuff from um, like I'm I'm farming literally everything that drops from um, Antorus. The particular pants that dropped, um, I can have a look. Give me a second. These ones. It's those ones there. I don't think it's going to let me actually put them on. Firstly, Fear's wearing a robe, so you're not going to be able to see them if I control click them anyway. But, um, yeah, they're kind of cool. I like them. They're specifically the heroic version, because I've got, I think that's the normal and LFR, so that's the heroic version. Indeed. Searching all the happy brain juice noises. Glad we're past that now. Agreed. I'm happy for you also. It's for all the things I am. All the things. Nothing. Nothing that I needed. That's right. I needed two things from Agrimar, but none of them dropped. I do need two items from Argus, so this will be fun. Let's see, here we go. Oh, nice. I also like to farm for all the things. Yay, Valene. Yay. Yeah, every Sunday I do a, a chill transmog stream. Yeah, that my that that spreadsheet I have is um, it can like it tells me what my lowest percentage is, so I can like hunt. You know, logic tells me that if I have like the lowest percent completion, should have the highest chance of getting me a new drop. It doesn't always work that way, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have a spreadsheet tell me what to do. 
Because then I don't have to actually make decisions. No. Lend these mortal pay. Making decisions is hard. Holy pay. A Baradon hold is up Time next. Oof. To me, Undermaker, the one force that can bind your relentless fury. ATT does not equal logic. Yeah, look. You're not wrong, Meaty. You're not wrong. You are not ah! prepared! Axiom, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hello, Secret Life. Thank you for the caster command, Shiba. Ooh. Why is it not? There we go. Quiletron's just taking a, taking a bit of a break today. Hey, a best. Welcome on in. Hey, life. This annoying transmog I want for Shadowlands is a bow from the Rainbow Horn Stag Rare. Hunter's Nightface, which she's killed a ton. It dropped on my shaman and I almost cried. Oh no, I hate that. When the one thing you're looking for drops on something it can't, that can't use it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. End it all. Kiss splat. No. Come on. After all we have endured. It must not end this way. How's stream going? Really well, Axim. Really, really well. We what had a bunch of stuff drop. Early on, the like when I was doing Antorus, I had like a ton, uh, not Antorus, fucking Tomb uh, of Sargeras. Like, got so many things crossed off the list, even like a, a zone drop and stuff. It was great. So, um, now we're in Antorus, and I've gotten both of them to over 70% completion, which feels really, really good. Um, next on the list is Barrett and Hold, though, and that's gonna be like pulling teeth to get more. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't interrupt him. Shit. God damn it. I'm an idiot. That's great. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to interrupt him. Oops. It's fine. 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 Good. <clears throat> yeah, Baradon Hold will be fun. Uh, everything I need from Baradon Hold on my mage. There are a couple of mage specific drops, but everything else is Priest Mage Warlock because it's mostly like PvP gear. It's cloth, so it can drop on any of them. Uh, so I've got to go switching tunes through all of them to, uh, Master, yeah, to try to get the drops because they're all silly low because of um, the massive loot tables for every the boss in there. And so yeah, it'll be great. The fury of it'll be great. The sea wash away this corruption. And of course, only one difficulty as well, so no, no two chances on one tune. Chat distracted you. Always does, Shujin. Always does. Welcome on in. Welcome back, I should say. Wing teeth in this? Nah. <laughs> Since when is transmog farming anything like pulling teeth? Agramar, lend these Poor fear, your indeed. Brain. That's okay. That's all good. It's not like it's- it is- it's not a quick fight, but it's not like it's a 20 minute fight either, so we're fine. Many monies for dentistry, Time that's not- Pull any more teeth! Me, Agreed. Agreed. One force that can bind your relentless fury. Come on, enough of the blab. Give me the next shit to hit. Suggested gift on throne. Thank you very much. Whoever popped that one through, I will check that shortly. Oh, 
that another one? Amazing. Is this is this accessories for chair? I'm so excited. For those of you who don't know, Throne is a website that enables me to have a wish list that is privacy first for both of us. So I gave my shipping details to Throne and they hide it from you guys, and but they also hide your details. So if you make a purchase, I don't get any of your details, you don't get any of my details, Throne makes the purchase and sends it to me, which is really awesome. No! Um, and you can suggest it gifts as well. If there's something that you think I would really like, but it's not on my wish list, then you can Both suggest a gift. And if I like it, I can add it to my wish list. It's really cool. I like it a lot. And it keeps buzzing, so this must be... Holy shit. Must have so many suggestions. Alright. Interrupt, Fia. Do the interrupt. There we go. Much better. I have seven suggestions. Wonderful. Am I gonna get either of the items I want? Gamerson or hand wraps? No, neither of them. Why would I get either of them? <laughs> Why would that happen? No, don't be silly, Fear. Uh, okay, so I'm done with this. I'm gonna head back to the garrison and we're gonna jump onto Kira and see if the Horde still has control of um, Obrad. Mm -hmm. Is it teeth, the suggestion I meant? I don't know. Let me have a click. Oh, there! Oh my god, that's amazing. Following on from the potential Fiamma light, something a little different. This isn't for you or Jas, it's for Chair. The lack of a hat after the end of Winter Veil could be rectified. Some of these are definitely better than others, so if there's one you don't like but are okay with the concept, maybe get other suggestions. So there's one for Noble Garden, one for Hallow's End, one for Brewfest, one for Harvest Festival slash Pilgrim's Bounty, one for Lovers in the Air. Ah, not a great one, but I couldn't find better, which I felt wasn't inappropriate. Yeah, we don't want boob hats. Um, or, or, you know, like, yep. Yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm. uh, and Luna Festival. That's super cute. So, like, because I've got a few things on my wish list for, like, string lights to hang in the background for like when special when certain events like special events like lovers in the air for example happen um but like hats for chair that are like themed for the because i had remember we had the um we had the santa hat on chair for a little while for for winter's veil for winter veil ah that's super cute i'll have to have a look through them after stream that's amazing amazing um, any money so dentist you teeth, who suggest teeth, evening all. Hello, Seeker. Hope you've had a lovely weekend or we'll still have a bit of lovely weekend to have. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I hope you have too. Dentist, maybe like yours are fucked here. Try these. <laughs> I split one of my front teeth. Oh no, Seeker. Oh, shit. If you need to, you can switch war mode on and off to check who has Barrett and hold. Ah, interesting. I didn't know it was different. Of course it's different phases. The thing, like, the big thing with Baradun Hold is that a lot of it is, um, like, a lot of the time people don't actually fight them. It just kind of sits there. And, and it just kind of defaults. It's all scratchy. It looks like the crack goes the whole way down. Ooh, does it hurt, Seeker? Oh, no. Well done, Kaz! I'm winning the free-for-all! Good job! Oh, there's another suggested gift. Ah, Midsummer Fire Festival. Amazing. Super awesome. Maybe yeah, I'm sure that irritation plus cost to fix will make it hurt. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, that's the thing. If you've if you've cracked a tooth, like you've split, if you've actually split a tooth, usually it fucking hurts. 
So it might be just like a superficial mark on the outside of the tooth, maybe? Potentially? Possibly? My crown prep done, which is great. Now that tooth is starting to hurt, I might need a root canal. Oh no, dude. Yeah, definitely get the root canal done before the, uh, the, um, crown. Because otherwise they have to drill through the crown to get to the root, to do the root canal. And that fucking sucks. That fucking sucks. Okay, so we're in Tolbarad. And we're on Kira. Actually, what I might do real quick. What boss is 9 of 10? Because I've just noticed she doesn't have all of the data in. Um, Crown hole 22 of 51. Perfect. Next battle's in 10 minutes. I might actually have to log on to Fear and do the battle. Um, so if anyone needs Tolbarad victories, might be worth jumping on in. Seems to be starting soonish. Um, do you have a Dremel? At least this now while I have the temp crown on. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Could have been much, much worse, eh? Hey? Alrighty, Argoloth. Can I have some loot from you, please, that isn't warlock specific? <laughs> That'd be really nice. Yeah, 0.7% drop chance for everything. Like, good lord. 0.7. That's just ridiculous. Isabel, Mistress of Hate. Elise Baradon Hold is also like Kira's lowest percent completion. Although I don't think her data has been updated properly, so it might be wrong. Place. My cat, I hate adventurers. <laughs> Feel my hatred. I hate every one oh. of you. Nothing near. Zero point six on this one. Oh god, that's so gross. So gross. I will enjoy watching you die. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, one new thing then it wasn't just um Warlock. So that should have upped my percentage on fear as well. And I'm gonna go check that though. Cause it'll be battle time for Tolbarad anyway. So if you wanna do Tolbarad, now's the time. Preferably not if you're Alliance. Okay, thanks. Although I do have Alliance tunes to run as well. I wonder how many new pieces I'd need on fear to get it over seven. For the alliance. If I remember the alliance, I shall defend Tolbarad. <laughs> you can 
You can do enough to get your achievements and then like let us win. <laughs> I actually got an achievement for killing three siege tanks, three three siege engines in one battle. Um, I didn't realize you could actually kill the ones that don't have anyone in them. So I, I killed them that were just sitting there and I killed three of them and I got the achievement. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Wonderful. <clears throat> Turn that back on. Okay, so Iron Hold is 36 out of 51. It's a 70%. I don't need to care. Brilliant. Ah, maze. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> uh, so my next one is Old Hills Bread. So that's fun. Damn it. That's not what I want. It's, um, what's it actually called? Turn hold. Oh, so I'm not doing top run. Yay! Mm, I went top run so long, I don't remember how to get there. <laughs> There's a portal in the capital city. What's wrong with Old Hills Red Foothills? It's just, it takes too long, Jack. It takes too long. All of the blebbing. All of the blebbing. Interesting. SSC is under 70% on fear. As I'm expanding all these different, like, all the different, um, oh, shit, no, it's downstairs, isn't it? As I'm expanding all the different, um, uh, expansions, funnily enough, uh, I'm like noticing all the percentages that are under 70 and I'm like, oh, but I mean, Old Hills Brad is at 68.75. So I'm getting awfully close to having everything at or above 70%. Old Hills Brad was really fun back when it came out. The RP got old pretty fast. That's, that's how I feel. It was, it's a great dungeon. It just takes entirely too long. Entirely too long. Did you finish painting your fingies? Yeah, I posted them on Twitter. Didn't I? I thought I posted on Twitter. And then they immediately got stained. So they're all kind of pink, streaky kind of color now because of my hair. <laughs> That's all right. Oh look, yeah. So you should be in the, in the Discord, the socials channel in Discord as well. Should. Oh, it's 7.30, that's why. I need a snack before dinner. It hasn't been started already. <sighs> I haven't eaten much today. I've eaten a bit, but not much. I don't think, oh. That's interesting, I could have sworn I scheduled a post. It might have been missed by the bot in the social channel. That might be the issue. Aw, <gasps> Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Yeah, it hasn't posted in the thingamajig. Uh, okay, so we're... Dungeon. Do we have a mythic difficulty for this? No, just normal and heroic. So let's do heroic to start with. Wow. I did post, I did tweet it, but it didn't, the bot didn't pick it up. 
That sucks. Sorry, guys. I don't know. I just, yeah, like, look, sometimes, because it's, I use, um, if this, then that. So, IFTTT, um, to, like, pull posts and stuff like that. So, if tweet from blah, 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 then make post in Discord. Um, but it doesn't always work. It's not completely flawless. Sometimes um, the, the website itself has made too many queries and so Discord won't let it post and stuff like that. It's a bit shit, um, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Pretty good job. Aw, oh, thank you. I feel like they aren't as stabby this go round. Yeah, I didn't sharpen them this time. Um, I just wanted to get them painted because I was doing it a bit late. Um, so I didn't, I didn't actually file them down and sharpen them this time around, but I think next time I will, because some of them are getting a bit long as well. I feel Why like they the almost look better will... when they're short and stubby. Aw, oh, Nab, thank you so much for the resub. 26 months, holy cow. That is amazing. Thank you. Aw, yay. So more stubby next week. I hope so, yeah. I reckon so. It depends on, like, it depends on how hectic the week is, I think. If it's like... If I've got so much shit to do and all that kind of stuff, then maybe not because I might run out of time and I don't have time to... Because filing them down does actually take a bit of time. Um, so if I don't have time to do it, then no. But if I do have some time, then yeah. Yeah. What mogs are you farming? So I'm using my all the dungeon and raid things spreadsheet to figure out what my lowest percentage completion is. And I'm trying to get everything on fear to more than 70% complete. All the dungeons and raids up into up to and including Legion to 70% or more completed. Which is the thing. Mo like my lowest completion is this one at the moment, which is six the 68.75. So that's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. Um, Captain Scarlock. Heroic. Is this the first boss in here? No, second boss. Okay. He only drops one thing. Oh, that's right. He's the dude who keeps fucking yelling, isn't he? And I keep telling him to shut the fuck up. There are no, there are no zone drops in here, so I need to just... Actually, are there any zone drops for, like, other... Yes. Oh, it's a pattern. And it's a bot pattern, so it's not going to drop for me anyway. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine then. I don't need to kill all the trash then. Yay. Which an angle grinder saves time, probably. Well, I mean, I've thought about getting like an electric file, um, like they use in the nail salons and stuff, but they tend to only use them for um, like acrylic nails. And I don't have acrylic nails, so I feel like it might be a little too rough on my natural nails and like take chunks out of it or make them kind of unhealthy or whatever. So I'm a little hesitant to use something like that. Actually, I have a question for you guys. I have a question for you guys because I'm a little uncertain. I've been, I've had an email from a company who want to send me some product to feature on social media and on stream and stuff like that, right? But looking at, I, I was a little bit suspicious of the website in like to begin with because it kind of looked like one of those websites that was sort of cool and dodgy, you know, when it's sort of the whole expectation versus reality type thing. Um, and so I had a look at them on Trustpilot. Um, if, if you don't, if you've never heard of Trustpilot, it's a, a website where people can review other websites, um, and uh, companies can take control of their Trustpilot page and ask people to review them on Trustpilot and stuff like that. Or they don't, they don't have to though. Like it, it can just be, to, and and if they have negative reviews, it takes a lot for the company to have them. Um, the companies can like respond to them and stuff, but it takes a lot for them to actually get that kind of shit removed, removed, uh, and people can respond to the response from the company. Like, you can have a back and forth and stuff. Um, and Trustpilot for this particular website is um, not so great. Not so great. Um, so I, when, when they emailed me, I was like, cool, this sounds really interesting. However, I've seen on your Trustpilot page that 
you know, you've got some, you've got some pretty low ratings there. Like, what can you, can you respond to that? What's the deal there? And I was kind of expecting them to just be like, oh, this bitch, never mind. Like, you know, she's, she's calling us out. We're just going to move on. But they didn't. Uh, Zam, Faye, Dunno, Z, Sickness, Miko, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, they didn't just move on. They actually responded and said, you know, we had some issues in the past, but we're working hard to move past that kind of stuff. And we're looking to, you know, revitalize our image by showing people that it's not like, you know, that's, that's not who we are anymore kind of thing. So I'm, I don't know how to feel. I don't know whether or not to trust them. See, so part of what I think is going to happen here is that because I'm a, a sponsored person, they'll send me the good shit. And then if you guys used my link, you'd get the expectation versus reality shit, which would obviously reflect super badly on me, um, as well as the company. But, you know, at that point, I think they don't give a shit. They're just looking for cash. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure how to approach this. If you were in my position, um, the website is mostly clothing and stuff. Um, so if you were in my position, how would you, what do you think you would do? How would you approach this? Um, I can't promise we have answers. No, of course not. Um, I'd never like, if, if you don't have an opinion on this, then you do not need to like, yeah, no, just, just, just curious if you do have an opinion. Uh, Raid Shadow Legends, no. They approached me years ago, and I just I kind of ignored them, so I don't think they'd approach me again. Uh, I wonder why that dungeon is the lowest on your list. Maybe because it's so out of the way and pretty boring to run. Yeah, potentially. Potentially. Um, and I just didn't get stuck in it when it was, um, like, when, when it's uh, doing random dungeons and stuff like that. It never, it just didn't pop me in this one or something. Who knows? But yeah, uh, this was, this is one of, this is my lowest one at the moment. Where is the company based? Um, good question. I don't want to give you the name just because I don't want to, like, you know, I don't, I don't want to do a water, dodgy. Get these flames out before they spread to the rest of the king. <clears throat> Hurry, damn you! Okay, so this is the Australian website. Let me have a look. Every time I get to the bottom of the page to like, like, is that absolutely I know what you're up to, and I mean to put an end to it. Not permanently. Didn't realize that was the boss. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Done. Um. Still not saying where they're based. This is just where they ship to. <laughs> they might have different places. Depending on where, like it might have different, um, might have different warehouses that they. Yeah, I think that's the. I think they ship from all over the place. Methods. China. China. It's from China. Cool. Um, yeah, so it says so if you're shipping to Australia, it says shipping method ship from priority airmail CN, expedited shipping service CN. Um, if they're going to United States, um, it's coming from China, there is a USA place that they have, and warehouses they have as well. I don't know what GWTR means, but that's an, so, but for Australia, it's from China. So it looks like, 
Looks like for most places, most stuff comes from China. But they do have a place in the US as well, but it looks like they only service the US from the US. Just clicking through with random few. Yeah, there's another GWTR, but I don't know what that is. Um, can we name drop it or not? Nah, nah, I'm, uh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna send them traffic, um, based on a suspicion, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, that's... I would not run the risk. Your brand is worth more than even one dodgy backing of brand. Well, yeah. So that was badly worded. No, I know what you mean though. Like the the amount of trust that I'd lose just from one potentially dodgy brand could be exceptionally detrimental. Excuse me. Get your ass back here, Thrall. I would investigate more personally. Maybe order some stuff anonymously, etc. Yeah. I'm not sure backing, backing, using faith. Yeah, is a company you would deal with if they didn't pay you? If not, doesn't that answer your question? Well, the thing is, though, Kaz, there are a lot of companies out there that I probably would deal with. I just don't know they exist. And that's why they reach out to influencers and stuff to try to get more eyes on their website. Because if you don't know who they are, how do you stumble across them on an internet as massive as the one we have? So if they hadn't have reached out to me. I will not waste this chance. But then unless you mean like the whole like maybe ordering some stuff anonymously, if I wouldn't spend my money ordering from them now that I know about them. Yeah. I haven't e this is the other thing though. I haven't even bothered to have a look at the kind of styles they offer and stuff like that yet because I want answers on the the dodgy reviews first. Uh once you support someone dodgy name gets tarnished, yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't ask for it. If it's a local one, you could do recon in store if they have one. Yeah, a lot of these kind of places, even if it was Australia based, they won't have, like Mellow Cosmetics, for example, they don't have a store because it's just too expensive to have a brick and mortar, um, like way too expensive to have a brick and mortar. Um, it's just so much cheaper to run an online website. Uh, I think if it feels sketch, don't do it. Also, if you're upfront about being weird about, then their stuff might be worth a shot. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a little bit weird, hey? Hey, I'm married. How you feeling? Bro, Welcome back. You didn't really oh, shut think you up, would escape, Skullock. did you? Be quiet. You and your allies shall answer to Black. Where they're located. After I've had my fun. Um, because we're a global warehouse based in China. Oh, interesting. I wonder why they don't just list it as China then. Try going using a Who's service to check the contact details of the company, or if they're using proxy registration, it's adding to the sosimeter. Okay. Um. Using a Whois service. Is there a? Let's look up. Find out who owns a domain. Free Whois domain lookup. Ah, oh, Shopify offers a free one. Interesting. Um, submit. works. TLD must be supplied, but then .com isn't supported? No, go away. Um, dot is. Let's use this one. Ah, oh, fucking, where is? Right, I have to talk to him, don't I? Whoops. Domain name. It just looks like an umbrella company that owns a shitload of stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's a Chinese umbrella company. like a fuckload of domains. That's not going to help. Oh well. It's fine. Look tar, friend. 
What is it you wish? Very well. Terran Mill lies um, just here. Since time is way to find some other people who are sponsored by them you could talk to. Potentially. Potentially. Let's ride. Um problem is if I search for the company name, then I'm probably going to end up with just all of their own links. Uh, and then if I like this is the really tricky bit. Um, finding people on Twitch who are sponsored by a certain company is bullshit hard. It's just fucking hella difficult. Um, because often it's not listed in text. It's listed, like, uh, it's shown as an image that you can then link through to. Um, and finding people on YouTube. Like, you could, you could always search for YouTube videos that contain the name of the company. Um, but most YouTube stuff, like... YouTube can be really, really tricky because more people are going to click on an Oh my god, look at how shocking this shit is. So even if they got good stuff, they may not show that in a video. They might just show the bad stuff because it's, you know, that'll get them more clicks and stuff. Um, but yeah, look, I might have a click around and see what I can find. Yeah, order restaurant. Yay, candy! Amazing news! A little better today, you're on the other hand. Yeah. That's alright, you've had it for a little bit longer then. Yeah, you had it for a couple of extra days, so I'm sure you're will come out the other side soon too. Just be a random company name. Yep, exactly. Oh, guaranteed to happen with you guys being so close quarters. Yeah, of course. She an umbrella. Yep, so feels kind of sus. Why though? Like, I would imagine that most domains are, like, especially for fast fashion websites, are going to be owned by umbrellas like that. So why would that make it any more sus? Ah, uh, so here's what I meant. For example, you said you're a true fan of Logitech. Makes sense to be associated with them. In this case, now you're aware of this company, can you say you would spend your own money on them? Yeah, vibe you currently give is you're trying to provide a personal, honest view. What company do you deal with? Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes what's and all, unless you're valuing the cash over that vibe. The question I would ask is, would you actually buy it? Uh, also important to note that they're not offering money. They're offering products in return for a review. Um, yeah, there's, it's yeah, very, very different. Maybe not to you guys, but from a creative perspective, that's an incredibly different offer. Um, I'm the only one who thinks Resident Evil Umbrella Corp. <laughs> so hashtag socials maybe on Insta. Yeah, potentially. That's actually not a bad idea either. Um, people clickbait online. Yes, indeed. Look yes, indeed. Friend. What is it you wish? Uh, uh, nothing you can do about that, Jared. Literally nothing. With with how virulent Omicron is, you you can't like. <laughs> nah. The fact that you live together guaranteed you were both going to get it if one of you got it. Just because you were the one who happened to bring it home, it doesn't make a difference. You're both going to get it. Uh, hey, Jackie. Hope you're doing well. Stream's going well so far. It is. It is. So if you're always better before Wednesday, agreed. Agreed. If not, we can make adjustments. We can make adjustments. Just, yeah, like, taking care of yourself comes first, as always. As always. Nintendo fun times, yes. Chef squad earlier. Well, I was also thinking finishing off uh, the kids we were because we didn't finish the storyline and everyone was like enthralled by that. So, Blackmore has much to answer for. Boom. Hey there. See you later. Come outside and face your face. What was that? Let's go find out, shall we? No. God's sake, let me jump down. There you are. I had 
hoped to accomplish this with a bit of subtlety, but I suppose direct confrontation. Mm, I'm just interested in the sequel, the ending of the game. Yeah. Based on how I've been and the timeline, it's doing better by the time I hit Wednesday. Everyone is different. Yeah, of course. Hope she kicks his ass. Of course we do. Absolutely. And I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. Items. Can I have one of them? No, I cannot. Fuck me. Alright. How long did that run take? <laughs> Actually, where's an NPC that's not dead? 20 to what? 21 minutes. 21 minutes for a fucking run. Alright, let's go do normal then. Smells good. I think it sounds like the air fryer. Maybe chips. You may be a bit overcautious. I tend to understand that giving out merch to influencers would be like a restaurant giving an invitation to reputable restaurant guides like Michelin to visit a restaurant on a specific date. There's a reason that inspectors from those guides go in unannounced and incognito. That's why I said, like, one of the first things I said was that I was a bit nervous that they'd give me the good shit. And then they'd, like, if you guys would use my code and stuff, then you'd get the whole expectation versus reality thing. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit kind of... Yeah, the the issue is I don't really have the money to to test out kind of, that kind of thing at the at the moment <laughs> simply because I'm trying to pay off my like trying to get the cash together for my dentistry. So like if this was decent and if they're trying to genuinely reinvigorate their brand, then I could miss the boat here and and miss earning some form of income which will help me pay off my dentistry. But on the other hand, if I, like, don't spend the money, which I don't have, to, to order from them to test them out anonymously, then, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. But these are the, these are the decisions uh, that we kind of have to make as, as baby, influ as micro-influencers, as they call us. It's just kind of tricksy. Just say no then. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It can be really tricky, especially uh, from a perspective of trying to go full time and stuff as well. Um. But yeah, I've been super, super, super picky in the past. Super picky, and it seems to have done me well, but it also means it took me quite a while to start earning a proper income, you know? So it's, um... Yeah. It's a difficult decision to make, but I'll see how I go. See how I go. players life decisions oh hell yeah it's um it's rough it's rough 
one of the companies that would benefit a lot from having you as an ambassador for their brand. It's for you to pick. Not. That's not how it works at all now. Not how it works at all. Um, I am tiny. I am nothing. I'm nothing. Um, it, like, for, for a company to send you free product, even just talking about free product, it's, um, I am on normal, right? Yeah. Um, like, I, I have nothing compared to some of these bigger streamers out here, and even the bigger streamers can struggle when it comes to approaching specific types of brands, because they just have zero interest in, in influencers who aren't huge on Instagram. It's just, it, like, it's literally huge on Instagram or TikTok. That's it. That's it. And those are my two smallest platforms. Uh, so, like, yeah, it is, it is not as easy as, you're a great influencer and you're super trustworthy. Brands will be falling over themselves. You just have to pick who you want to work with. No. Absolutely not. That's not how it works. Um, yeah, no. Uh, if it were that easy, if it, if it were a matter of me choosing who, I've reached out to countless brands that I would love to work with, and I've heard back from zero of them. Zero. <laughs> Literally. And these, these are not just brands that I'm randomly picking out of a hat. These are brands who I know have worked with influencers because I've seen them working with people that I, like YouTubers that I watch or streamers that I watch or Instagram content creators that I follow. Um, that kind of, like people who I know work with influencers and they just do not respond because you're not enough. It doesn't matter how trustworthy I am to you guys. There are not enough of you for them to give two shits about me. So it's that's not how it works, unfortunately. Uh, Twitch is very niche, yeah. Twitch is exceptionally niche, which is, yeah, it's all about Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to help, <laughs> follow me on Instagram. Like, follow on Instagram, follow on TikTok. That is where it fucking matters, uh, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it is what it is. Uh, cleaning myself eight times to be enough. <laughs> you guys are not enough for brands. You're enough for me. You're not enough for brands. There's a, a big, big, big difference. As much as I hate this, it also depends on who you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Um, but I, I don't hate that. It's... um. The, the thing with, like, brands wanting to work with influencers and stuff, they need to be able to trust that you're not, like, you, you know, you may have great numbers and all this kind of stuff, but if they don't know you from a bar of soap, they don't have the time, because the, the time, the manpower, and therefore the money, they don't have time, they don't have the money to pay someone for several hours to troll through your, your, your social media and watch your streams and make sure that you're someone that they actually want to work with. Um, like, they have to know that you're that you match their brand and that they you know that, that they can trust that you're not going to bring disrepute to, to them and all that kind of stuff so if you already know someone who works with them and they can go to that person hey this person has name dropped you do you know like you know them are they similar kind of content to you what do you think about them do you think that they're going to suit our brand because you've worked with us before you know what we look for in a creator do you think that they're going to match us that's how the who you know part works there is a very important reason for that because it means that they can ask a person, they can send one person an email rather than pay, you know, hourly rate times 12 to actually get an answer from, from their own internal people. Like, it's a hell of a lot cheaper to ask someone they've already worked with. It makes sense from a business perspective. So I absolutely don't begrudge them that. And I don't hate that. Um, they have to do what they have to do as a business. It's just like how I have to do. I don't have... All of these connections that I can say, hey, have you worked with such and such? Are they a, a reputable brand for me to be working with? I don't have those connections. Um, so I have to do the work myself. But if I had, if I did have those connections, you bet your ass I'd be asking them. And so even for the brand, it'd be who they know, who they've worked with before. Yeah, it's a... Um, it's a fun one. It's it's really interesting how all this Come shit works. Back with some better stories. Fuck, I'm hungry. I can smell it, and my stomach is growling. Um, and in terms of your personality, if I had a brand, I would trust you over other influences of the same size. Yeah, but you know me. You've watched me for hours and hours and hours, and for for years, they haven't. If I approach them out of the blue, they would have to put that effort in to get to know me, and they're not going to do that. 
they've they've got better things to do with their time. Hey Daz, how you doing? If you had a brand, sure, brands however don't have the luxury of checking out every influencer. Correct. Don't have the time or the money for that. Yeah. <laughs> hey every, how you doing? Lotar, friend. What is it you wish? Very well then. Let's go. There you go. Two hundred. Well, the hours, the hours are botched because of the name change. But one year, one month. Brands do not have thirteen months to invest into a streamer to see if they're going to be worthy of their brand and a match for them, all that kind of stuff. A slave no longer. Look at that. Three years, seven months. Holy cow. I cannot believe that it's almost six years that I've been streaming. What the fuck? It's just incredible. It's incredible. do for my six year anniversary stream like I, I know it's going to be a marathon and I've got some ideas for, for a few little bits and pieces to make it super hype but what are we actually going to do on the stream what is the content going to be between hypes and, and ridiculousness and stuff because it'll be after leveling it'll be after 50 50s do I farm mounts do I farm transmog do I start leveling to 60 like fuck just how to use a big button Bro. phone you didn't what? really think oh, you would right. escape, oh, yeah, did yeah. you? Just you and with your allies answer the black Content hole. theme. Fire. After I've had my I'll just set fire, fire to everything. It'll be fine. Hearts. 50 shark kills, Pog. I mean, I could. Hearts. I mean, I could. No pontiff's pantaloons of prophecy. Epoch Hunter better give me one of those four fucking Look things. I swear to Christ, I'm in a riot. What is it you wish? Well. Terran Mill lies Please don't talk about Maccas, why? Since time is of the essence. Why is that dude just so loud? Because someone forgot Let's to equalize ride. the voice line file. Literally. That's exactly what has happened. <laughs> ah, Maccas for dinner yesterday. I did not. We went, actually, we went to a restaurant last night. It was really good. Went to a Chinese restaurant. Trying to support local, support small businesses during the pandemic and stuff. And it, god lord, it was tasty. It was so fucking good. So fucking good. Definitely not a travel and outdoor stream with the pandemic. You are not wrong. <laughs> you are not fucking wrong, Nav. <laughs> Pantaloons of prophecy are a lie. Clearly, S. Clearly. Like, why? Why are you no gift pants? Gift pantaloons. He's just passionate. He's, he's annoying. And bad because I'm hungry and love Maccas but need to save money. So have other food. You have self-control. Exercise. It's great. Exercise your self-control. Need this emote with the nuggies in hand. <laughs> oh dear. All in for the raid. Well done, Seeker. Good luck. Good luck. One team go go go. Yas. Noodles. Yum. I have a steak on the way. I have a steak on the way. Very much looking forward to that. Just saying. Also, you guys, be excited for me. I have a haircut on Wednesday. I have a hairdresser's appointment on Wednesday. My first haircut in two years. Years. What the fuck? Indeed, it'll feel amazing. I'm so looking forward to it. Not all of the dead hair, like, cause I've got hair, uh, like the ends of my hair have been damaged with like box dye from like, you know, drugstore box dye from Priceline and shit. And then I've been using Manic Panic, which is a semi-permanent, so like both the top half of my hair is so much healthier. So I'm gonna be cutting off a lot of the dead ends, but not all of it, because if I did, it'd chop off up to here and like, fuck, I'm doing a bob cut again. Never again. Um, so it'd be like armpit length. So it means I'm still getting like, like three or four inches taken off the end. Lotar, friend. What and is I'll have to wait a bit longer to get the rest of the dead ends cut off. Do the head massage? Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Self-control in this economy? Actually, yeah, we need that in this economy. We do. 
We do. Excuse me, get off the... There we go. I miss Chinese food. I've been vegetarian for three years. Haven't found anything as good as Chinese honey pork was. Oh, candy. Yeah, look. It's, it's definitely... Mm, I feel that. I feel that. Only haircut type emote I have is this one. Beautiful. Love it. When I chopped and donated, it felt amazing. I think it must almost be long enough to do it again. Oh, that's so awesome. I I can't. I can't. Um, The head. I mean, I, I know that some places do take hair dyed, like dyed hair, but um, with the condition of my hair, it's just absolutely terrible at the moment. I don't think anyone would accept it. Okay, start battle. I'm going to kill these ones off. Ah, uh, they would need the voice actor of that line to be mired in some scandal to have to have to re-record it, re-equalize it. Look, I'm sure they can go in and just like tone down the volume on that one file, surely. I'm sure that that's a thing that they could do. Um, dear God, Josh should not use a sword to do the haircut. Agreed. Agreed. A bob cut is bad for me. Um, so a bob cut, they call it a bob, B-O-B. Um, and just like just above the shoulders, it doesn't look good on me. It does not look good on me. Um, I had a bob cut many years ago and I'll never do it again. Um, so yeah, just on me. I'm totally happy for other people to do it. Not a problem at all. I'm just don't want it on me. Or <laughs> uh, as the guys call it, six. Oh dear. Well done on the wins from the raid, you guys. Look at that. Nice raid win indeed. Why is following me into the fire? Since 2020, I've been cutting my own hair, even though barbers are open, don't trust them to not cut my hair too short. Fair. Totally fair. And I mean, hey, if you can do it yourself, why the hell not? Save yourself some cash as well. But no, um, I do not trust myself to cut my own hair. I know a lot of people have been through the pandemic and stuff, and I just didn't. Uh, so I just didn't have a cut. So I've literally had two years of growth with, with no trim at all whatsoever. So I'm going to get in there on Wednesday and they'll be like, oh, so when was your last haircut? Two years. And they're going to be like, what? What? It's gonna be great. Very much looking forward to it. You can definitely do it. Question is, would they give a shit about old TBC content? Yeah, fair. Fair. Congrats to Vio, Dwarfy, Valene, Meaty, Seeker, and Aurelia on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, random Twitch question. Does Twitch care if you was mute the device? Twitch is from a numbers ads perspective. I.e. reduce your payout or stats or something. Ah, uh, some- there is no definitive answer. Thank you. Mm. Bubble tea! Thank you, and yay! South. South. Speaking of haircuts, Jas got one today. I'm not sure if he wants to show you or not, but This is my shirt. This is your shirt? You've got stuff on your shirt. It's blue. I will fight to the last. There's water on it. You got perpetually damp, aren't you, my dear? Yeah. Thank you so much for dinner and for the bubble tea. Baby You're absolutely amazing. And da, 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 that's a baby jazz. Oh yeah, I discovered something tonight. What? If I get to plaster wet, and then I pick up ice, the ice gets stuck to my fucking finger. Because <laughs> <laughs> it freezes the water yeah. in the plaster, yeah? So, oh, no. so I was putting the ice in the cup. Yeah. I'm really hungry. And I went now. I went like, like this. Mm. And there's like these two ice cubes just there, like... <laughs> get off. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> just look. <laughs> Thank you so much for dinner and tea. I will. I always do. You're a good cook. Alright. Place an archer. Place your units. Fiamily. Or should I say Fiami? That's the army. Yep, good. You get it. Um. Um. What the fuck? Did I let Thrall die and so it reset, or...? What just happened? Do I have to go up and talk to- maybe I have to talk to Teresa again. <clears throat> yes, okay, good. Um... Uh, but yeah, so there's no definitive answer about what actually counts on Twitch as a view, and the reason that the reason there's no definitive answer is because if we have an answer, then the viewbot companies would have an answer, and they could guarantee X number of viewbots and all that kind of stuff that you could pay for, which is against toss. So they try to fuck them around and like make it hard for them, which is why I would also expect that they change what counts every so often just to screw with them.
so yeah, we, we have exactly <clears throat> exactly zero idea. Anything you see out there saying, this is, you know, you must, you must leave the thing unmuted, you must do this, you can mute the tab, but you can't mute this or that, no, it's all bullshit. It's all assumptions. We do not know. Mm. So volume to one percent of my headphones be on the safe side. That's the thing. It's it's healing, but he's still wrapping it in band-aids because if he gets it like if it soaks up too much water. The edges of the wound start to lift up and stuff. So he's just kind of protecting it while it finishes healing. But no more stitches. So the stitches taken out. Hmm. Maybe it's streamer just use lower sound setting instead. In case it does affect the streamer getting views or paid. Mm, just another person whose arms hands also never seen his face. He absolutely has a face. Absolutely has a face. Can confirm. Hand delivered food. Jazz is pretty awesome. Uh, browser add on allows me to mute browser tab. Some web pages included in that tab. So the website doesn't know I muted it. Can't you just do that with like Chrome? Can't you just mute the tab? Um, pick up from the back, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how well you know your hairdresser. Are they likely to charge extra if they know it's been two years since the last haircut? I don't think so. Because, I mean, you can come in with any length of hair and they take, like, it, most hairdressers for, like, for um, women at least, this specific place calls it, it's a gender neutral haircut because hot tip guys and gender and, and non-binary people can have long hair too. Um, they call it a gender neutral haircut and it just, they, they charge X amount. Um, I assume that they charge a bit more if your hair is, like, really, really long. Like, if it's down to your knees... They're probably going to charge a bit extra because it's more work but it's got nothing to do with how long it's been since your last haircut it'll have to do with the length of your hair um and my hair's not ridiculously long but that's okay um given that it's been two years i've been setting aside money for haircut and so i've got quite a, like i've got a decent amount of money set aside for haircut because i haven't had one in two years so yeah sounds like playing for enough all uh, do you watch a Twitch app, not a browser? Sometimes your life gets in the way. I have to reduce volume. Do you leave the picture on to keep an eye open for mounts, etc.? Of course, of course. Look, my, my general advice, Kaz, is do what you need to do. If it doesn't count as a viewer, then that's fine. If it means that my revenue reduces by one person, that's fine. Like, ad revenue, one person watching ads for an entire month doesn't generate a ton of revenue. Um, it's when you get into the larger numbers, like everyone watching the ads generates a, a decent amount of revenue. Um, so one person um, having it muted or, or whatever, like I want you guys to be comfortable with your watching. Like you are under no obligation to be here. Um, I just want you to enjoy your time. So if you need to mute it for some reason, then do so. It's okay. I'm not going to be upset about it. Um, and if it does reduce my revenue a bit, then then that's okay. That's just a fact of life. Uh, that's how it works. So yeah, don't don't ever feel bad about it. I shorten the hopes I can wait another few months for the next. Hello, Les. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Uh, Viewbots would just send the browser audio to a black hole anyway. Not that Twitch can know what happened to the audio once it left their site. Jess has a face. Indeed. What's next for you? Having a body? I do. That's how I go away for a chess stream. Let's fix into Chrome, Chromium, Firefox, let you mute the tab. Chrome mutes, uh, Chrome mute mutes all tab instances of the site with add-ons can be tab stream specific. Ah, cool. Didn't know that. That's cool. Chrome doesn't, doesn't have a mute tab anymore by default when I checked. So I'm allowed you to do that. Oh, doesn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, I've got mute site, not mute tab. Um, but it mutes like all tabs of that site, like X was saying. Fair. Cool. There you go. A thing. Okay. It has been learned. Have a good one. Come outside and face your face. Okay. Let's do this properly this time. Who or what was that? Rita's <clears throat> life hangs in the balance. Surely. Ads are extremely low income per viewer. They are. One ad being watched by one person is extremely low. But if I do a six hour stream with 90 seconds worth of ads every half hour, so three minutes per hour. So 18 minutes of ads in a six hour stream multiplied by, we're sitting at 81 viewers at the moment. It's decent. It's not going to pay my bills, but it's decent. Um, so when you get up to, when, when you're in the thousands of CCB, concurrent viewers, um, it, it actually, like there are some, there are some streamers out there where the majority of their income comes from ads. Like they get more money from ads than they do from subscribers. 
and that's not by running a, a 10 minute ad every five minutes do you know what I mean like it's it's just to turn pre-rolls off 90 seconds every half hour is how you turn pre-rolls off permanently which is what I do uh, full disclosure that's that's how I decide to run my ads is just so they don't get pre-rolls um, and they can make more money holy fuck we got one 24 out of 32 we fucking got one um but yeah there are there are streamers out there who earn more from ads than they do from their subscribers because they're sitting in the thousands of of viewers and not that many people can afford to sub and that's okay totally fine we make money off you by you going and stretching your legs when an ad plays literally that's it go grab a snack go grab a drink go to the bathroom stretch your legs do that thing you've been putting off for half an hour during those 90 seconds and then come back when it's done. And you are, by doing that, helping me pay my bills. I am not even kidding. Actually helping me pay my bills. <laughs> like, it's it's huge. It's ridiculous and awesome. Goodbye, Tarita. I will never forget your kindness. <laughs> Recently learned that fear has ears. I know, look, look. <gasps> oh my god, it's an ear. Hmm. <laughs> Despite all the videos showing her with head protectors, I yet set on if you check out her other social media, which I think she's very supportive of in principle. I am. I absolutely support you checking out my other social media. Um, she does have some shots without the protectors and those true proof that she has is. I do. I do. Do you still get revenue from ads if all your viewers are subscribed? Uh, no, but none of them will even see the ads. If every single viewer in chat is subscribed, an ad will play and that will turn pre-rolls off but no one will see it. So I get zero ad revenue, but it still turns pre-rolls off, which means that new people who come in who are not subscribed won't get an ad off the bat. And that is how you retain new people. And that is what is fucking important to me right now, is attracting new people, yes, but retaining them. Having them not click off as soon as they go, oh fuck, not another ad, close tab. Look for something else to watch. Nah, I want them to stay. I want them to come in, and then go, huh, this isn't bad, I might stay. <clears throat> Ads are just helpful little movement reminders. Mmm. Is that ads? If she has ears, wait, she has social medias? What kind of sorcery is this? So, that put us to 75% for Old Hills, Brad Foothills. We're going to the fucking night hold with 69.01. That's not where that goes. Yes, it is. It's Legion. <clears throat> this is so exciting. We're at 69% is my lowest raid or dungeon for completion. Guys, we are that close to going all 12 classes. Does an ad actually play if there's no unsubscribed around or does it pre-troll ads? Also, you can actually turn on ads for subs. You can. Yep. So um, if there is a bug at the moment on Twitch um, that is well known, however, they're having trouble figuring out what exactly is causing it, where people who are subscribed on a channel where sub ads are turned off are still getting ads. And we as streamers have been asked by Twitch to tell you to report it to Twitch, to open a ticket or to report a bug or whatever, whatever the, the, the avenue is, um, if that happens to you. However, double check. Double check. Um, so we're on. Um, so yeah, when if you're in, if you're sub to a channel, you're in that channel and you get an ad, double check in chat like, hey, I just got an ad. Have you got ads turned off for subscribers? And once they confirm, yes, I do have ads turned off for subscribers, then you can go in and put a ticket because you know that it is actually a bug rather than them just um, having it turned on. I don't, th like there are definitely some who have it turned on, but um, but not many. I mean, for obvious reasons, most people don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> a lot of the ones who do are like sports, esports channels. So like, you know, if you're watching uh, like, I don't know why you'd sub to like League or whatever, but I guess maybe they have some interesting emotes. Um, but 
So they'll have an actual ad break where they'll all like, they'll just put up like a be right, be right back screen for like a minute and a half while the ad plays. And so they'll absolutely turn it on because it's more revenue. What are you missing from Nighthold? A ton of shit. I don't know, but like stuff. <clears throat> um, Arcing Aqueduct is the Greetings. first ring. Cool. For the Alliance. Yep. Um, Brew tastes like Tutti Fruity. Delicious. Hey, Assum. Is a Warrior the best class to run all the things? Not if you're looking for cloth. <laughs> Not if you're looking for cloth. Uh, welcome on in, by the way. Uh, does the streamer still get the revenue from the ads? If subs are showed an ad they're not supposed to see. I believe so, yeah. I believe we do any any ad that's visible, we get the we get the um what's it from it? We get the revenue. So I think the bug is in technically in streamer's favor, but there are gonna be people out there who are so shitty with the bug that they're not gonna bother resubbing. Because what's the point if I get ads? So that's that'll be a massive loss for the streamer. As well as for Twitch, obviously. Hmm. I'll throw some ads at us every little bit helps, right? No. Yeah, but, like, for you guys, I mean, do, you're happy to see them, right? Maybe. Maybe not ha Maybe happy is not the right word. But you'd be okay with seeing them. But that doesn't mean that all the other subs would be as well. Um, and it would also potentially piss off people who are lurking. And yet subbed, I do actually have a bunch of subs who have never spoken in chat. Not once. So, like, and I'd be potentially pissing off those people and they would potentially cancel their subs, do you know what I mean? So it's like, mm, yeah. I'm, I'm totally fine with um, having sub revenue in place of ad revenue rather than in addition to. But if I ever get desperate, I'll let you know. What if I want to be subbed and watch the same Uber Eats ad for the 50th time in a row because Australia only has like four ads? You are not fucking wrong, hey. Ugh. Maybe one day I need to schedule like a bonus stream where literally the whole thing is just ads. Ad after ad after ad after this ad after ad. That'd be hilarious. Day, my friends. Okay. Until the okay. Legion came, right, no Twitch. Ah, nice. Committed in Didn't ask the them fair. Of the Nighthold for fair. 10,000 years. Oh dear. Excuse me. So we're in Legion. And we're in the Nighthold. Oh, we're at 148 out of 213. How do we get to 148? Must be a shared appearance somewhere. Well, it still doesn't put us to 70, so that's okay. Uh, but it's no, it's no longer our lowest. Oof, uh, that's right. I don't really want to do what's actually the lowest, so we'll stick with Nighthold for now. Now the fate of my people rests in the hands of <clears throat> outsiders. All of you, to save us from the terrible bargain made by our queen. Shannar Dalaras, I have no idea how such an <clears throat> entity. So there's an illusion from this guy. The essence of the Nightwell is surging through it. Tendrils of power are emanating from the aberration. I believe Ellison is using this creature to maintain the time lock spell. In order to free our allies at the gate, this monstrosity must illusion, be please. destroyed. That's all I want, just the illusion. Come on. My time. It's okay. We have Triliax. Where is actually a piece of gear? The time lock is broken. They are free. Vision, what are you hiding? Exactly. Exactly.
There are a bunch of, there are four zone drops from LFR that I still need. So that's fun. That's why I'm killing literally everything. If you manage to get more than 99% of all cloth mugs, you'll be known as the Demifisto of Dexter. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be kind of cool. <clears throat> it might take me a long while to get there. That's right, through. We'll have fun on the way. You're tracking mud everywhere. Did you do also include light quests? Yes. You can turn it off. <clears throat> you can turn quest tracking off. just ahead. So I've got quest tracking off. However, if there's a quest that gives a piece of gear that is an appearance I don't have, that quest will still show up because I have got transmog tracked. Does that make sense? Hey, Azero, unique. Because I only started collecting transmog like not even six months ago. Oh, maybe, maybe somewhere close to six months ago. But um, yeah, so I figured I'd start with unique and then maybe one day <laughs> look at all sources, but not yet. Welcome on in. I hope you're well. In case you're wondering, this is green apple green tea with grape jelly. Delicious. ATT gives me anxiety. I want to complete things, makes me want to fill it out. Keep it turned off so I'm not tempted. Look. Fair. Um, there is a lot of stuff in WoW. Like, it's huge. Not only that, but the fact that it's a 17-year-old game, that means it's 17 years of stuff to collect. Like, that's a shitload. It's a metric shitload. And uh, add to that that Blizzard are recognizing that collectors and completionists are making up more and more and more of their player base. Like, our market share, as it were, is growing. And so, um, like, in 9-1 alone, they added, like, what was it, like, 83 mounts or something? Which is as many mounts as they were in, what, like, Vanilla, BC, and Wrath altogether or something like that? It's just, and that's in one patch. It's getting just a little bit out of hand. So it's, um, yeah, it's a big fucking job. Uh, especially if you're, like, um, uh, analysis paralysis. There's too many options, and so where the fuck do you start? ATT does have some great built-in tools to help you pick specific things to focus on, like the random module, ATT, uh, slash ATT random. And then you can pick a particular category, and it will randomly dis like choose something from that category for you to work on. Which is really fun. I love that. We call it Coas mode. Because I, I, we were calling it Chaos mode, and then I misspelt it. So now it's Coas <laughs> permanently. Uh, so that's fine. But um, yeah, so there, there are some tools that can help you narrow it down a little bit. You can also turn off a bunch of stuff if you're not interested in, say, PvP and shit like that. But uh, I, it is, it is very overwhelming at first look. Very overwhelming. Do not blame you at all for feeling that way. <clears throat> uh, yes, it's all the things it is. Yeah, it, it tracks literally every single thing in the game. Regardless of whether you would consider it a collectible or not, it fucking tracks it. Everything. Everything. It's a good approach. Thank you. I thought so. <laughs> It's still, it's still a bit kind of overwhelming, but, um, you know, I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Uh, I built myself a spreadsheet, uh, and Jack helped immensely by pulling some, uh, some writing some, uh, code lines, um, so it will pull my lowest percentage, dungeon or raid, uh, for each class and then overall. Uh, if you type exclamation AT dart, A-T-D-A-R-T, all the dungeon and raid things, yep. Um, you'll get a look at my spreadsheet. It's currently mostly minimized, but um, I've got Legion open because that's where I am. Uh, but that's what I've been using to kind of pick something to do. 
uh, working on my lowest percentages with the idea that if it's lowest percentage, surely that means there are more appearances for me to get. I know that doesn't always work that way, but it's fun anyway. Watching those numbers go up makes my heart happy. Lich King. Okay. Okay. That's why I haven't installed it. It's so much. There is. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot. I do love that, you know, installing it after nearly 15 years of playing, I think it was at the, like the 14 and a half year mark, and jumping on fear and being like, holy shit, like I'm already over 70% complete, and then realizing how much effort it takes to bump it up by like 1%. It's like, fuck man, I've done so much over these 15 years. It's amazing. But that's just from naturally playing and the fact that I've always made this, like always made a mage, never made any other class. So uh, it definitely helps. <laughs> Uh, it also means, however, that the other 11 classes are sorely lacking. But we deal with it. We deal with it. Um, love that there's tens of thousands of years of lore. Isn't it amazing? It's beautiful. All right. Uh, we're going to turn on the Lich King voice. There we are. Uh, the redemption. Climb and go. Climb and go. Um... Played for 35,000 hours and I'm not even done, no. And because R and Jesus will always have that one fucking thing that it will rub in your face, you know? Like, no, you'll never be done. Like, never be done, done. Still no 450 bound achieve. <laughs> uh, you've got to remember that those kind of achievements, they also have to keep in mind about, like, the casuals and stuff. You know, there may be 900 plus mounts in the game, but how many of them are really, truly, like, incredibly difficult to get your hands on? What is the average number of mounts that a player has? Plus, you know, we don't really need another achievement to give us another mount when they're adding 83 fucking mounts per patch. Like, <laughs> you've got enough to collect. You don't need another one. It's fine. We're never done with the way out. Never. Never, ever. Any figures is mounts and that feels overwhelming, this expansion? Yeah, I have uh, mine, like, we have mounts on Monday. Um, so every Monday we do Mount Farming. Entire armies have fallen by my sword. I've been working what through the Dark Horizon Rothless. So me. sorting by rarity and then obviously filtering Behold out ones with collect or collect and all holds. And then working from the most common to least common. That's been really interesting. Um, I'm thinking, like, I mean, I've gotten quite a few mounts that Let way because, you know, be if they're more common, surely that means... Yes! Good. Brilliant. So we're on 149. Um, surely, if it's a more common mount, more people have it, right? Um, I mean, sorry, if it's a more common mount, it must be easier to get because more people have it. At, long um, at least that's kind of what I've been to liberate working through. Um, not, not, not quite the case, but it's okay, we're getting there. Um, but I am kind of tempted to switch back to just grinding against Shah and waiting for a mount to drop, uh, because it's actually kind of fun. But I am also that person. Um, but not until after what was in the air. Lovers in the air is here, that is all we're doing for a full two weeks, is getting myself a fucking heartbreaker. We will get them out, and it will not kill me. I promise. I like Karas? Yeah. Karas is great. Karas is great. Um, PvP, we're not doing PvP. PvP can fuck off all the way. But does incompletion this to the people that still adequately play during content drops? Yep, exactly. Exactly. And so if they give us something to actually farm, uh, then it'll keep their numbers up. Alright, the timer is done. Let me turn off the voice. There we go. Um. <clears throat> also, in before, what happened to your voice? <laughs> Uh, Mage Biss. Biss. Fucking love my mage. Always and forever. Started playing at the start of BC, and I have and always, always named, 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 named Mafia. Always. Um, I, there was, I started leveling as a... 40. My first character was Horde. Mage, Fiamma. Um, and then... Uh, met a few people uh, who mained Alliance, and once I hit max level... Um, after a little while I ended up playing Alliance instead, so I leveled another tune. Another oh, mage the Alliance! Called Fiamma on Alliance. She was a gnome. And I played her for, I think, like, six-ish years or something. 
uh, and then eventually uh, took a small break from WoW and uh, came back and the guild that I had been in before I left had transferred from Alliance to Hordeside. Um, and all the friends that I was coming back to play with were all Hordeside, so I did a faction change. The first one wasn't a faction change because they didn't offer that service back then. But um, yeah, but it's always been a mage uh, and she's always been called Fiamma. She's usually been a fire mage, uh, but there have been a few times where she's been arcane. Uh, she's voice filters were more comprehensible. What do you mean? Oh, as in like you don't understand what I'm saying. It's interesting because like there are definitely a couple that are really hard to understand, but um, most of them I don't seem to get like any complaints about. Yeah. What's up with your voice? Uh, it's a it's thanks to my uh, Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition microphone from Blue Microphones. It's got in the in the software. There's a bunch of like um, voice altering duver woovers. Um, and because it's the WoW edition microphone, it has a bunch that are designed after in-game creatures and stuff. So that one was the Lich King. And that's that's what's with my voice. It's a redemption we have, it only lasts a couple minutes. And because I mean it can last permanently if you're someone who wants to use it for like for whatever, really, if you're if you're hosting online D D games or if you're recording videos or whatever it is that you're doing, they're really, really useful for just adding a little bit of fun. <laughs> to, to whatever it is you're doing, but I just, I pop a timer on for two minutes and, uh, let it go. So much fucking trash and none of it dropping any zone, any zone drops. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Not nice. Not nice. That's how she says. Uh, boyfriend has the heartbreaking man who's not even a map collector nor plays the game anymore. It pains me greatly? Nah. It's just proof that it exists. Nothing wrong with that. I love that it irks the lurkers. Reverb? Ah, uh, there's probably some reverb in there, yeah. I'm not too sure. Which one am I in? Yeah, which raid finder am I in? I forget. Okay, so I'm in F and AM. All right. Uh, which means I can go to Botanist and Star Augur. I think Star Augur is going to be the next logical one. Yeah, and there's mobs in there, so let's go that way. Gone now. Correct, because I turned it off. Uh, which of those voices is Fia's real voice? This one. Must be him. That's the gnome Kappa. Just turned it off, it played Lich King for about 10 seconds maybe. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, my whole PC's been a bit laggy today. That might be... That might have caused it. That's okay. Up the stairs we go. Should be Sam play much since beating LK back in the day. I really took it out of us at the time. It was a great achievement though, considering coming back now just to continue collecting rare mounts. I've subscribed. Oh, brilliant. Well... I hope you enjoy your time back in WoW. If only you knew what lay beyond. What? Excuse me. Oh, it's because it was outside. Okay. Uh, while we wait for that fucker to respawn. Um, uh, those reverb for roughly one minute after you turned off the voice. A minute? Dupe said ten seconds. <laughs> Sense losing Lich King status isn't done in the snap of a finger. Oh dear. That's hilarious. It's actually 11 seconds? Right, okay, noted. Noted. PC's probably in need of a restart. Mm. What was you asking to do probably closer? Fair enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Vacuuming the house with the headset on, I worked up a sweat as it's hot and I'm zooming. Ear foam actually got sweaty. Ew! <laughs> yeah, that is gross. Congratulations to you, Aurelia and Valine, on your bonus shit. Well done. <clears throat> Please be major. No, not yet. Archer, it is. Change. There we go. If only you knew what <laughs> such insolence. Very well. I shall show you. See for yourself the cruel <clears throat> frozen void that lies beyond the margin of Azeroth. The Burning Legion. Slayers of whole worlds. Could we hope to resist? Can you? Is Do that not what... think the future will be so easy. Not what I needed. Very well. That's okay. Witness what I have seen and Avatars of non existence. No, I don't actually need botanists. But, but these trash. are the beings who will devour the future you <clears throat> so futilely fight to protect. I want the trash for the trash drops. So we're clear the place out anyway. Many trash. Why no drops? Soromar owes its beauty to my wounds. I alone have mastered the delicate intertwining of magic into nature's grand cycle. Mm -hmm. Is that song? Is it Fred? Show me I'm live. Come catch me story today. Yeah, I should have. I mean, I posted it. I don't know if it actually went live or not. But it got broken. It's there. That's super odd. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely did.
that as well? Or is that just a bug on my end? Yeah, I think my PC needs a fucking restart. <laughs> oh, Brigand 2 something is just isn't really, even though it shows this was posted many hours ago. That is super weird. Super weird. Kind of lagged. Uh, so I don't know what you've tried to post there, Sam, um, but it's come through as three asterisks. So if you've posted a link or something that looks like a link, uh, it might have done a thing. Triple loop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So that was actually the game feeding me that rather than the PC itself freezing up. Cool. Because everything else moved fine. It was just that little bit that was very odd. Very odd. Uh, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well kill him. <sighs> How dare you disturb my pristine gardens! Killed everything else. Might as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, shut up. After you've checked that, so strange. Maybe opening Instagram pushed it through properly. Sam. That's so fucking strange. I think all of my tech just needs to be turned off for a night. Like, legit. And then put a dot at the end. Ah, okay. Those who truly oh, it. Yeah, it'll do that, hey. Alright. Out we go. <clears throat> As I know you hate spoilers more than I do, what would you think of the idea of Blizzard changing Happy Tail Works, only including the stuff that needs to be collectively tested in it? Uh, I don't think that would work very well now, because the whole thing about the PTR is testing how all the different things work in, like, with, with each other. If they don't test the story like if they don't test the storyline quests then they'll either be full of fucking bugs which will break the story and, and destroy your immersion anyway or they'll include the story anyway and get spoilers like yeah it's it's going to happen I, it's it's going to be shit either way so i just don't go on my head it's easy okay the night spire for the alliance Can't quest be tested in-house though? Yeah, by like maybe 12 people. How many bugs do you- if, if 12 people can find two bugs, how many do you think 12,000 people can find? And you get more data on those bugs from all these different setups rather than it being just because that's a PC that has thrown a, a stupid, as opposed to all these different types of setups throwing all these different types of errors that all result in the same actual displayed issue. No. The more people you have testing, the better. <clears throat> no, it, again, Ginny, it wouldn't help. Like, yes, okay, having an in-house QA team does help with some things, but the more data they have, the better they're going to be able to fix an issue. And as Jack said, they do actually do internal testing still. It just doesn't cut it these days. There are umpteen million different types of issues that can go wrong. And the more people you have with the, the, with varied setups rather than everyone using the stock standard Blizzard issued PC, the more likely you are to find all the different errors. <clears throat> Play Final Fantasy and they don't have any PTR? They might do. You might find that they do, and that everyone who has access to it has to sign an NDA. You don't know what you don't know. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Might also be that instead of having public PTRs, they have other companies that they pair up with um, to, to test each other's shit, and so they have access to a much larger pool of QA and stuff like like you just don't know. You just don't know. Until then, I'll amuse myself. and it sucked. <laughs> 
just to quote a Reddit post. Can we, for the love of God, get a PTR? Square spends so much time dealing with the salt of new buffs, debuffs, and mechanic changes in this game that it's a bit absurd. Why do they not allow the players to test this content? Yes, having their battle team is nice and all, but it limits them to a few players' opinions from our Final Fantasy XIV. So, the WoW players talk about Final Fantasy doesn't have one. Why do we need one? It gives us spoilers and shit. And then the Final Fantasy team are like, everyone else has a fucking PTR. We want ones that we can actually test shit. I'm going to go back to the age-old saying, you can't please everybody. There is no correct way to do any of this shit. There isn't. There simply isn't. All you can do is the best that you can do for, like, the best that you believe you can do for your player base. Make adjustments as required and just hope that the majority of people are okay with it. <clears throat> Big facts. Indeed, Lox. Indeed. I like to... I like to think most of what I say is factual. You think I'm sure I fuck up occasionally, but I try. <laughs> Maybe it's a miserable try, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> son of the Legion. Yeah, I, I learned long ago that I'm never going to make everybody happy. If I swear, I piss people off. If I stop swearing, I make other people upset. If I play WoW, people say, why don't you play this game? And if I play that game, why aren't you playing WoW today? I can't, I can't win. In the third war, Nothing I, I do is going to make everybody happy. And so, stormy. I make me happy. I think the demon hunter's spirit is pleased That's it? that the Dreadlord has met another painful end. Let's remember the Night Spies. We've got Croesus and Magistrix. Okay. Oh, fuck, this is the one with all the fucking tree. Okay, yeah, we're good. It's fine. <clears throat> I feel like it's a minority opinion. Most people like the idea they can join a game with no spoilers. You can join a game with no spoilers. Don't read Wowhead. Don't join the subreddits for the game when there's a PTR that involves storyline. I have not gotten a single fucking spoiler for 9-2. If you try spoiling it now, we have mods who will ban you. I'm not kidding. You will get banned. I don't care how long you've been here or if you're subscribed or not. You will get banned. You know it's a no spoilers policy here, but I, like, I'm a fucking content creator that has people, like, like, trolls who will come in and try to spoil you just to get a reaction. And I have avoided spoilers. If I can avoid spoilers, you can. Very easily. Very, very easily. It is not hard to avoid spoilers. Uh, universal popularity. I think we can never achieve the thing so many anxious humans cannot stop their brain doing. Yeah, look. You can. It just takes practice. Like, legit, you can. It, But it takes a lot of practice, and sometimes some medication, uh, and it takes external help, and all that kind of stuff, but you absolutely can. If I can, any fucking one can. <laughs> Let me tell you. It was, uh, yeah. It was, it was very problematic. Um, but it, it can be done. It just, it takes time. Like a long ass time. Glad you have a healthy approach to it. Yeah, it, it took practice. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. Uh, over, over the course of years. Um, like... I'd almost say it took me like a decade to kind of get there. But, um... The sooner you start, the sooner the end of the decade will arrive. <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it takes a while, but you, like, anyone can get there. Constant work. Uh, I'm actually playing other games. Sorry, I had to troll a little. Ah, uh, I can't spoil if you can't read, but I can read. So there's that. Uh, I would much rather have a less buggy game than an unspoiled raid two months after the actual patch like Final Fantasy does. Yeah, I, I too would prefer to have fewer bugs um, and just have to have to know how to avoid the spoilers and actively avoid them myself. Like, yeah. I'm fine with that. Uh, reading is for nerds anyway. Honestly, Final Fantasy uh, does have a PTR for classes and abilities. It's called Live. Yeah, <laughs> look, that's, that's, yeah. It's public, and it's clearly still in testing, because they haven't tested it. 
they may test it internally, but it's a limited amount of testing. So. Yeah. It takes them so damn long to release the raid. Look, every game is going to have their own way of doing things, and that doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. And players who are playing those games are going to have preferences. Some players who want to play WoW wish that there wasn't a PTR so they couldn't get story spoilers. Uh, and some, obviously, some Final Fantasy players want there to be a PTR so that their game is a less buggy mess. Um, like, they, neither of these are the correct answers. There isn't a correct answer. Um, Final Fantasy has made a decision for their game, and they believe that it's the best decision for their game, and if they ever change their minds and believe it is no longer the best decision for their game, then they'll launch a PTR. And if the World of Warcraft team ever decides that having a PTR is not the correct decision for them anymore, then they will no longer release PTRs. But until then, like, what are we gonna do? Like, if you don't want spoilers, avoid them actively. And if you, if you want to help with testing, then do the best that you can, regardless of the game that you play. If it's on live and you discover a bug, like I did before, when Velen wasn't giving me a quest that he should have been giving me, I submit a bug report. It's like, it's the best thing that you can possibly do to help the health of the game that you love, whatever that game happens to be. It's fine, play what you love, I'm not going to judge you. At all. Just, if you want it to be the best game it can be, Sometimes you've got to help the developers out a little. Whether that's on a on a test run, like a, a like a proper PTR where it's not the official final launched product, or if it's on live. Doesn't matter. Find a bug, report it. They can't fix what they don't know is broken. Even then, of course, they make decisions based on how many man hours they have available and shit like that, but at least if we pop in reports. Uh, and doing it from in-game as well, like, posting on the forums is great. Do not bitch. Do not send death threats. Don't be that dickhead. Um, but, and, and don't just bitch and moan. Constructive criticism is helpful. If you bitch, they're just going to ignore you, because why the fuck should they pay attention to someone who's throwing insults at them? They don't deserve that. They're just doing their fucking jobs. Um, but, like, reporting things in-game sends a snapshot of your game at the time along with it. So if you have, if, if there's some issue where if you have this quest in your log, this person will not offer you this other quest, but it's not intended to be like that, then they'll get that extra information. A post on the forums doesn't give them that extra background information, and that extra background information could be the difference between them figuring out what the fuck is going wrong, and them not being able to figure it out. So by all means, if there's already a forum post, add your voice to the chorus, but make sure you submit it in-game as well. It actually does make a difference, and it actually does help. <clears throat> Opening a hard drive for the first time in like 15 years. Forgot how cool they looked inside. Agreed. Just tech in general looks cool on the inside. That's why some of them make with clear cases and shit these days. Because <laughs> you want to see the bits inside. Regarding WoW, I was mostly referring to the fact that so many people complain about the story, but a lot of the first impressions people get of the story that is from is articles Rakuian about PTR Thor on WoWhead. Him. That's on them. That's on them. It's as simple as that. If there were enough people there actually complaining about that. stuff that they saw on WoWhead, then WoWhead would change their shit. But because they don't, they just complain about the story without having any extra context, and they don't say, I read this on WoWhead and... Wowhead is a click farming website. Literally. They make money when they get clicks. Which is why they'll turn one interview with one developer into 17 articles. They'll post the, the, the interview, then a separate article with a transcript of the interview, and then, then 15 different articles with one bullet point each from the article, or from the interview. Because that's how they maximize clicks. People may not give a shit about uh, an interview with a developer that they don't know, but one particular bullet point that they mentioned might get their interest enough to make them click. It's all about the clicks. So if people didn't give them the clicks, or if they specifically complained about 
how it's like you know how they're misrepresenting the story and stuff then wowhead would change what they're doing but they literally get one voice line and they make an article about it and they get a second voice line and they make an article about it and they get a third voice line and they make an article about it because they get clicks because that's how they make fucking money your desperate attempt to stop the legion my people faced a similar dilemma it's as simple as that like i peered into all ain't nothing gonna change that in search of an answer and it found only one the legion's victory is inevitable every time stream shows it to be so had we resisted they would have taken if people can't figure out that getting ready. story like that is the equivalent of trying to piece together a novel using Another slips novel out of chinese star. like the the fortune cookies waste away without its energy sustains. that's on them so a that's a failure to understand on their part now i see a future <clears> where the legion is victorious and my you vastly overestimate the amount of people looking at warehead in the lead up to this a patch is yeah. the thread that must be preserved it's um i will do everything yeah. in my power to make it so look your deaths ensure there are a lot of issues with our head and how they distribute their information Come like forward, then. yes let us speed you but towards your it's face. because that's their business model and it's working for them else they wouldn't still be doing it literally your timelines end here hey approval how are you going welcome on in you exist in but a single moment I am far less limited. <laughs> Time shifts again, and your doom draws near. This one done. So we're gonna jump out and do Betrayer's Rise. And hope for a golden hearthstone guard. Directly it's on them, but if people leave the game because of the amount of spoiling they had, I'm left in the same situation as I am now, where I am one of the last people left in the game. Even though I have been avoiding spoilers, such situations do affect me. I do have the same conclusion as Fiber Sphere has, so I have more issues playing WoW alone. I play most of WoW as a single player game. I'm not sure what that part of your message means at all. Um, but if people are leaving the game because they read too many spoilers, how? No, I'm sorry. No, that that like, no. I I feel like you are. Like you're just following the wrong people on social media or something. Now this is not a this is not a common thing. People quitting the game because I got story spoilers. No, that's not I. <laughs> and before you say it's true, I've seen it. People post about it on my feed all the time. Come on now. That's that's like a handful of people compared to how many people play WoW. It's not that's it's not as big an issue as you think it is. It's it's not as big an issue as you think it is. Um, and again, people being spoiled. Y you may have a few people leaving the game because they read spoilers of their own accord. But that's that's on them. If they clicked onto a website and saw, oh, this has story for 9.2. Shit, now I've read it. Fuck, I'm going to quit the game. That's, no, that is not on Blizzard's fault. And they are under no obligation to prevent story details from being leaked. This isn't a leak. They're publishing it. They're publishing it intentionally so that people can test it to make sure it's not broken. You are having far more people leave the game because it's a buggy mess than you are because they had a spoiler. This is just... no. I'm sorry. I... no. No. It's because they say the story is bad. They're gonna say that whether they got spoilers or not, Nab. It does... that's got nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing to do with it. 
They can say the story is bad after playing through the story. The fault does not lie in the spoilers. It is their personal opinion. Correct. The story is poorly, uh, pretty poorly written at this stage, IMO, but really story is a, contri a contrivance to allow gameplay. I would disagree with that. I think that storyline is quite important for World of Warcraft. Not a lot of people give a shit. Um, like, people will just kind of play the raid, whatever, but I don't think it's a contrivance. Uh, I think it's honestly quite important to make things flow properly. If there was no story, the game wouldn't flow and it wouldn't make much sense and therefore wouldn't be as fun. Um, but yeah, like if they're, if they're getting spoilers, if they're getting piecemeal spoilers and they're saying, God, the story is so fucking bad. And then they're choosing not to play because of that. I have a feeling there's going to be bigger issues that are causing them to not play the game. It's not just that they're getting piecemeal spoilers. Like, no. Ah, oh, story is good. Just people are viewing WoW story historically through roast into glasses. Correct. Yeah, I've quite enjoyed the story so far. There may be aspects of the story that people disagree with and go, oh, that's such a cop-out. But, I mean, yeah, there's a reason shit like that's a cop-out. It's because stuff like that happens IRL all the goddamn time. Like, <laughs> good lord. <clears throat> if they're quitting because the story is bad it's because the game is no longer for them and I think that that's perfectly fine for them to do that they are allowed to make that choice to leave the game for whatever reason that they want but if they're leaving the game based on a handful of spoilers and not even the full story, then there's a very good chance that they're using those spoilers as an excuse to say, oh, I'm leaving because of poor writing. Rather than I'm leaving because I haven't enjoyed raiding for eight months, but I don't want to break that to my guild because I still like them as humans. It just feels like shit. Or, you know, that kind of like, and that's fine. All these reasons to leave the game are valid and that's totally fine. But people are not leaving Seen because they're getting piecemeal spoilers. So confident. Have you forgotten it's not about a spoiler, it's just that people are getting the story out of context in their first impression, and from that getting the idea that the story is bad. Mighty war chief was stuck in a belly don't get me wrong, I don't think it's just for that. But that's what you're saying though, Nab. You're saying it's just for that. As slowly as he did, consumed by fell corruption and squeeze. Healing for a merciful end. And Your honestly, the whole the, the first impression thing, again, their dust. fucking fault. In the end, that's got nothing to do with Blizzard. You're okay, the all of this, all of this conversation that you're trying, like that we're having, right? That you're trying to make the point that Blizzard should remove the public test realms so that people don't data mine quests that give story out of context, which gives people a bad first impression of the story, which causes them to leave the game. And that's ridiculous. Sure, that might be a negative, that the story's being spoiled and in bits and pieces out of context. That's bad. The benefits for having a PTR vastly outweigh that tiny little negative. I don't often say this, but you are wrong. I understand, like, this may be an opinion of yours, but, but like, the fact that Blizzard should do away with a PTR or should consider doing away with a PTR for that reason, for the story out of context reason, is terrible. It's wrong. <laughs> the, the benefits of a PTR vastly outweigh people getting spoilers out of context people can avoid spoilers very easily very easily um if they get their first impressions from the clickbait website that wowhead has become that's on them they have the choice to not go onto these websites and get their news in bits and pieces yeah that's this yeah if if they see like if i see a title if I see an, an article title on Wowhead that has the word Sylvanas in it, I immediately look away and fucking close the tab. Immediately. Because I don't want spoilers. If people see that and click it and read it, and then make a decision that the story is bad, based on that one little snippet that they've, like, that's on them. That's on them. 
And I don't think that Blizzard should do away with a PTR because of that. That's bullshit and stupid. Like, you know, like you have, you have, um, you occasionally have like a, a TV show or something or a movie that's launching soon or an album for a musical artist that's launching soon and it gets leaked a few days before the official launch, right? Does that mean that these creators, these, these, these directors, these writers, these actors, these producers, these artists, all these type of people, should they not send their stuff? Like if they're launching it on a day and they have to send a record to a radio station so that they can play it on launch day to do the promotion and all that kind of stuff, should they not let a single copy leave a locked safe until the day of launch? How the fuck is anyone gonna get their hands on it if they haven't sent the digital files to Spotify or the physical record to the radio, they're not going to get any promotion. The launch day is going to be a fucking flop and they'll get no sales. The benefits of getting the information out there to the distributors outweighs the fact that there may be a leak somewhere along the way. The benefits vastly outweigh the potential negatives. Vastly. Spoiler alert, I don't work in any of those industries. I have no fucking idea how it works, but I presume they have to send the stuff out to the places somehow. It doesn't just magically appear in the radio booth <laughs> on the day of launch. It has to take a travel, and all along that way, there might be a fuckhead who takes a copy and distributes it to them. So, like, it's, you know, people are assholes. <clears throat> Glad for your frankness. I appreciate that. That's good. Uh, Jailer isn't a good villain. Overinvestment in him has been the detriment of a lot of more interesting stories. They didn't need to retcon parts to fit the Jailer. Have him be interesting. Not uh, really having played since Open Beta. If people use any excuse to justify the decision to plot. Yeah, and I mean, but that's okay. They, they don't need an excuse. They can just say, I don't like it anymore. And that's fine. That's totally valid. But yeah, I, I get what you mean. Um, 100%. Thank you, Jumpy. I uh, didn't retcon a single thing about the story, yes, at least in Shadowlands. Like the connection to Warcraft 3. Isn't that not a retcon? They're just writing new connections in? That's not a retcon. The shit that happened stays the same. It's just a continuation of that story thread, surely. That's not a ret A retcon is going back and actually changing the storyline. Yeah? Not making a connection. I just want to make sure I've got this right. Um, need to make sure the people they send it to will honor agreements. Yes, but there are there are people along the way. They can't. They're not going to be able to get every like they may get a a a a delivery company to sign an agreement to say we will make sure this gets where it's going. But then the actual delivery person who holds on to it may decide to take the risk, and they might lose their job. But too late, the fucking damage is done. It's as simple as that. Like shit happens. They still have to take that risk. Uh, Gruben, Dupe, Vio, Faden, uh, Seeker, Draz, Miko, Z, and Cloud, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Which connection? Maybe Dropbox or something. Additive retcon is often not considered a retcon, even if it technically is. But retcon is changing a story. Additive means continuing on the storyline and not changing. Everything still happened the way it did, exactly. Someone still died. But then what happened to them after death? We didn't know. Now we do. That's not retcon. That's just a continuation of story. I'm not saying that that's what happened here. I'm just using a, a fucking example. Like, I'm just pulling shit out of the air. I'm not, I don't know what you're referring to as a retcon. Like, I, I do not know. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I've heard of a lot of accusations about retconning shit. Specifically about Sylvanas, but I've heard nothing about the Jailer being retconned. Who died? Literally everyone. Including us! I'll make ashes of you. Rid me of these pests.
Uh, I knew I shouldn't have went down the dark stairs for popcorn. <laughs> yeah. That was your that was your big mistake, X. That was your big mistake. Popcorn's never worth it. I mean, that's a lie. Blatant lie. But first, I'll indulge myself a bit and finish you. A taste of the master's might. You'll never escape my grasp. Drink Excuse me, very rude. The glory I will not fail you, yeah. master. My power. Just no more distractions. Excuse me, stop I that. Have work to do. Uh, ten and ten worth right now. Everyone goes to the semi-friendly ghost. <laughs> semi-friendly. My record means retroactive continuity. It's when you add or change stuff that occurred in the past for the purpose of future storytelling. Yeah, so in this context, usually people say retconning as in they changed that Sylvanas didn't bomb the fucking Wrathgate. She they they said she didn't know and that it was happening outside of her knowledge, but now they say yes, she actually did know. That's what people use retconning in this context. Con context like regardless of the definition of a word, the way that people use it matters. And that is what people are usually say here. Yeah. Is that actually that's not something new. That's a yeah, that's that's an no. You know. Mm -mm. So we're still at 149, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Okay, it means I need to go do normal. Um, so yeah, actually changing the story in the past is what people are usually talking about when they say retcon in this context. Um, So right now, everything that's been bad in the universe that isn't old god related is actually jailer related. How is that a retcon? Exactly. None of the events that happened changed. Blizzard is adding threads to make these things connected. How good, the, how good they are is subjective. So that's not a retcon. That's adding an explanation. It's adding to the story, not changing shit. <clears throat> it's like when you go, like when you've got like a fucking soap opera and something fucking explodes. And, and they're like, wait, what the fuck happened? And then like seven episodes later, you see someone actually, you know, opened up a gas valve and, and lit a match. And that's how that other person died because they were actually trying to kill them. It wasn't just some freak accident. Like, it's just, it's just continuing an old storyline. I don't see how that's retconning. In the context that people usually use it in, not in the literal definition. That's not adding stuff that happened in the past. It, it had already happened, we just didn't have knowledge of it. It's not retconning. Ah, uh, this one. Perfect. Arrow of Destiny! I like beer, like beer battered fries. They're good. Well, beer battered chips. These are not fries. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. I've always thought of like French fries as like you know shoestring fries, like thin cut chips, and then like the big thick chunky ones. They're they're chips, chips versus fries. I don't know. I'm not sure how that got in my head, but. That's how I've always felt. Interesting. Uh, side note, super off topic. Fear, you watching anything good lately? We need to binge the new Boba Fett and Expanse season. Um. Not really. I've had a bunch of stuff just kind of playing in the background. Um. However, I am wanting to, like, next time I have time hmm, to sit down and properly pay attention to something, I want to watch Manifest on Netflix. 
It popped up in my recommended. And I watched the trailer and I was like, ooh! It's really, really funky. It's about a plane that lands. Like an, uh, like a, like, you know, fucking airplane. Aeroplane. Uh, that lands and they're like, they're all suspicious of them and they pull them aside and they redirect them to a different airport and they're like, what the fuck is going on? And they're like, well, you, you took off from this airport and it was this date and you landed here today, but today is this date and you've been missing presumed dead for five and a half years. And it's like, oh, what the fuck? But they don't know that any time has passed. They just, they took a flight. And the flight was the normal time. And they're like, what the fuck happened? So yeah, I like, I really want to watch that. It could be shit, but I have no idea. It just sounds like a really cool premise. A couple seasons didn't finish it. Fair. I just kind of saw the trailer and I'm like, add to watch list. <laughs> so the trailer to that movie looks so interesting. It's a series, Valine. It's a, it's a, like a TV show. Episodes and shit. Can I go in, please? Wait, am I on heroic? Fuck, I might be. I am. Shit. Uh, as I understand, the problem with adding knowledge of what happened in the past is that those people that wrote the original story themselves didn't know at the time of those connections, so it can sometimes give the impression that they're making stuff up as they go along. What the fuck do you think writing is? Writing is literally making stuff up as you go along. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I do not understand that argument that people keep making. It's like they're making shit up. Yes, they are making shit up. None of this actually happened in the real world. <laughs> Sylvanas is not real. It's all made up. It's all made up. It's all made up as they go along. So what? That's the fucking point. <laughs> it's like that, um, the, the movie, uh, The Invention of Lying, where every film and everything it ever made, every book, was all historical, but because no one was able to lie. And then all of a sudden, this guy invented lying and he could tell these amazing, incredible stories that never actually happened. <laughs> it's all made up. <laughs> Ah, uh, sounds interesting. Show. Right, Vio? I, I thought it sounded really interesting, so I've added it to my watch list, but I can't, like, I can't recommend it yet because I have no idea if it's actually any good. I just thought the trailer sounded fun. So, <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna dive into that next time I have a chance. Uh, Manifest reminds me sort of of the movie The Lang Langoliers. I am not sure how to pronounce that. I mean, the fact that it's not been planned from the start. Yeah, but like, do you really think that they planned 20 years of storyline from the beginning of World of Warcraft? Because they didn't. All of this shit at some point, they've had to kind of go, hum. Like, they plan general, they might plan general expansions a couple in advance, but they, like, Back when Wrath happened, I very much doubt they were thinking about the Shadowlands expansion because it was literally like how many years ago now? Like, like about a decade ago? So filling in the blanks retroactively, which is fine. That's how a lot of stories that are literally 17 years old are written. Final Fantasy literally makes up the X-Packs after finishing the last one, yet its story is lauded. Yeah, it gets boring as fuck, but yeah. And, you know, personal opinions, and that's totally fine. to infuse this creature with the Nightwell's power? Have a care. If this abomination was created to protect... No, we're at 10 years of story when Mac came out to begin with, yeah. It must be particularly deadly. In order, like, if they get... They have two choices here now. They have two choices. Either they completely make up entirely new storylines with new characters and new locations and everything every single time they get a new expansion, or they grab a thread from the past and tie it in so that it feels like it's more connected to the rest of the universe, rather than an isolated story and an isolated story, like like a, a, another isolated story, like fucking Simpsons episodes, when you can watch them in literally pretty much any order and it all makes sense anyway, because it doesn't matter what the order is. 
but they don't want to do that. They want to tie it all back so that they've got this beautiful big tapestry of flowing story. Beautiful is subjective, obviously. I love the story personally, but like th those are their choices. Brand spanking new shit all the time that has no connection to the past whatsoever or story that has ties back to stuff that weren't loose ends to begin with but it means that the story is connected to the universe in a deeper way. There is no in-between. There isn't an in-between. A bit like TV shows, wow writers have changed, story changed. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. Also heard Wheel of Time is decent on Amazon, doesn't quite interest me, I don't know why. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, people complaining about retconning with Warcraft makes me laugh. Have you seen how many times Marvel or DC Comics does this in storytelling is their fucking job? <coughs> New 52. <laughs> like, they, that was more than a retcon. They literally rewrote the entire fucking history of everything. They scrapped all of these incredible, massively oh. in-depth shit, like, stories with these characters and just said, none of that matters anymore, we're gonna start fresh. <laughs> it's, yeah. No, it... it yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure Shadowlands wasn't even considered when Warcraft 3 was released. Yeah, absolutely. Like, wow, wouldn't have been considered when Warcraft 3 was released. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, Warcraft 3 is almost 20 years old. Probably didn't think they'd make an MMO at that point. Agreed. I thought the Wheel of Time was pretty good. I'm a massive book fan and still enjoyed the adaptation. Awesome news. That's really good to hear. Uh, give me a second, let me clear out some of this shit, because my bags were full again. Understandably. Uh, considering I've been running dungeons and raids all evening. I can ditch. Nothing new. Hey. Uh, all right, chronomatic anomaly. I wouldn't say Final Fantasy folk made up stuff up blindly. They built the world entirely through a realm reborn. Uh, we've only gone to places we knew existed so far. Now, after Endwalker, they definitely need to make some things up, but everything from 1-0 to now is related in some fashion. Yeah, but, like, being located on the map that they drew at the beginning does not equal we had the skeletons of the story back when the when the map was drawn. They may have drawn the map and then gone, okay, it's a new expansion now. Shit, what, what kind of story are we going to do? Okay, let's throw a dart, and wherever it lands, we'll go with that zone and make something up for it. That's like, do you know what I mean? There's there's a there's a difference between having the whole story planned out for several years and like just picking a chunk of paper and going with it. Made by our queen. Mm, something I also noticed when I was doing some quests in Classic WoW, that the word Shadowlands didn't even exist. Well, people, the word people used for determining where the souls of the dead, dead went was Twisting Never. We'd also not gone to the Shadowlands. When when did the word Shadowlands come in? Was that when we got there? Did the, did the people in Oribos tell us the name of their world? I don't remember. Uh, my brain is shit for little details like this. Because there is a very good chance, like, when did we get the word heaven as humans? I have no idea what did we call it before then? Came to be. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's that kind of... Is surging through it. Plus, the Twisting Nether, isn't that what they just kind of call the, the universe? Although I'm, again, brain shit for that kind of detail. Hey, Kylie. Yes, I am doing Nighthold, trying to get some more transmog. 69.95% completed. Round of the final zone. This next pack was an arse pool. Probably need to be doing the precedent for it. No illusion. It's okay. Uh, actually waiting for Varian to walk out the shower, realize everything's been a dream broken. sequence, we're back to vanilla times. Free. Dallas TV show reference for those no who don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of it. 
Um, Shadowlands were invented in Wrath during the DK storyline. They go. From here, awesome. we have access to the palace grounds. We can open the gates. Uh, Final Fantasy inside. 14 has lots of loose threads that can come back to. Don't that know how it just feels well. lazy. Good I don't know, it just feels lazy as someone who has every Warcraft book, graphic novel, and game to be told everything you read was a master plan by a dude with big nips. Talking about maps, we still haven't seen Dragon Isles, a number of other other Ross-based places. Yeah, but they may have plans for them for future expansions, or they may not. They might have just thought, eh, we can't really do enough to, to make a whole last expansion out of it. Um... <clears throat> As I understand, Twisting Nether is the realm of demons and fell energy corresponding to Disorder. Well, that's got nothing to do with death then anyway, because Disorder's in a different area to death. Um, but yeah, as Jas said, um, Shadowlands were brought up during the DK storyline back in Wrath, which makes sense, considering that the DK kind of, you know, the whole thing imaging coming from the Shadowlands and stuff. Makes sense. Twisting Nether is the ether that connects all the planets. It's literally space. We've travelled through it several times at this point. Cool. That was called the Great Dark Beyond. No, that's just like beyond the edge of our maps, isn't it? No, when you when you fly off the edge of like fucking Netherstorm and shit, don't you get the Twisting Nether? On the like, it literally says that on the map. But I mean, so if it's referred to as both, so it's like space, outer space, you know, the universe. It's like we've we've got we've got multiple names for space here as well. space is probably just short for outer space because we're lazy and we like to omit words but yeah in the universe uh no they literally start dev and planning on the next x pack as they finish the current one they've said this multiple times there you go ah uh, the nether tends to cling to worlds well, that's interesting you're tracking mud everywhere uh, in terms of future storylines, we've already determined a general outline of the next expansion pack, version 4.0, after Heaven's Ward. Have of course, the details master. may potentially change depending on I our players' reactions. There is always a possibility for adjustments, too. Oh, cool. interesting. So they write as they go based on players' reactions and stuff, which is kind of funky. I mean, I I would assume that that gives them a shitload more work. The but, um... That was unfortunately not actually a new one. Defended than the lower levels. It gives them it gives them less time to get stuff polished and done and completed, but it also means that they get to write according to player tastes at the time, whatever their current player base likes. That's kind of cool. They look obviously Final Fantasy and WoW have very, 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 very different dev stuff going on like they have different um plans and different procedures and, and all that kind of stuff uh and hey look maybe one is better than the other or maybe both is perfect for their own player bases who knows the only thing we do know is that they are different Both imperfect. Yeah, absolutely. More likely that, considering that it's all based on humans. And humans are fucked. <laughs> I was gonna say imperfect, but no, we're fucked. We're, we're like, humans are fucked. Um, we personally go for an overarching plan regarding story and a very iterative approach, approach regarding gameplay. Uh, and look, potentially, look, it, it looks like Blizzard goes with overarching plan and then they, they do seem to adjust here. Like, they've definitely been more open with communication lately. Um, I don't know how Final Fantasy does it. I don't play Final Fantasy. I don't follow it. I don't... Let's be bluntly honest here. I don't care. Um, as long as people who are playing it are having fun, then that's all that fucking matters. None of it bothers me. Um, so, yeah, look. And it, it may well be that they've tried to do that, Nab, and that it's just too fucking difficult. Like, you can't know until you've done it, I guess. Um... And I'm sure that they're doing the absolute best that they can with whatever plan their higher-ups have given them. Uh, he's made by humans, not robots. Exactly. And even if it was made by robots, those robots would have been plan programmed by humans. So we're all fucked anyway. 
or programmed by an AI who was written by humans. <laughs> you look, you fucked regardless how you look at it. Uh, bubble tea, yep. Green tea with grape jelly. Green apple green tea, sorry. Green apple green tea with grape jelly. Uh, working my way through it when I'm not talking. Um, literally said that. Yes, I did in, in fact say it before your message popped up in chat. It's the, the wonderful, uh, benefits of having delay on Twitch chat. And, uh, fucking, uh, what's it called? Latency and all that kind of shit. Big overarching plan that lasts more than an X-Pack or two is a massive risk. Correct. Correct. Entire um, if you set up one person sword. as your, your major what villain or your major you hero and the player me. base uh, hates the hero or loves the villain, yeah, look, you're gonna have some issues. And that's just like the most basic of things. Let your fates be bound to you can have you can have like the the loose loosest of skeleton of, of story and stuff, uh, but anything more detailed than that can get a little messy. Uh, which I believe is how WoW usually works. Like they have two or three expansions ahead, they kind of have a loose idea of where they're gonna go, and maybe some of the characters that might be involved potentially. And then the closer you get to it, the more fleshed out it gets. That was actually a new thing. So we're at 150 now, which puts us. Fucking number one. The gates are breached. Sorry, we couldn't join you soon. Seventy point four two percent. Shut up, up Kaga. <sighs> the zone drops in here are gonna be the death of me. Killing all this trash every fucking time. Um. Uh, the most open of any studio I've ever seen in recent history. Uh, Twisting Nether is the astral plane between worlds. It is a chaotic and magical environment that overlaps with the great dark beyond, yet is normally imperceptible to mortals. Wowpedia. Um, let me just see, I suppose. Illusion, what are you hiding? I play both games myself. Not an endgame fan of fantasy yet, though. I have no real discourse about that kind of gameplay. Uh, like, how many times has Xenos come back from the dead in Final Fantasy now? Uh, I can't wait for AI that looks like humans. Why? Things kind of weird. There was precedent for Zenos. I didn't like him returning, honestly. Gotta go. Not a problem. See you next time. I don't know in WoW, but take Zenos fine. Then sorry, I just don't take that simple. <laughs> take that seriously. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, look, people will find literally anything to bitch about. Um, it's the magic of humanity. Is that no matter what anyone does. We are some. We we find a way to be unhappy, um, because it's maybe not the way we would have done it, or, or you know, we have some kind of we we, we feel some kind of in, uh, perceived slight against us personally for for some kind of little thing or whatever. It, it's just yeah. Um, I understand being passionate about something and caring about something and wanting it to be good, but at a certain point, you kind of have to understand that this is their baby. This is their product and they have made these decisions and they will have reasons for those decisions and you are not entitled to those reasons. You're not entitled to those reasons. Some companies may choose to share them. That does not mean that other companies have to. Um, they may consider those to be trade secrets or they might just not want to give it away because if they do, they feel like it'll spoil something for later. Like you just, you are not entitled to, to that information. Um, and if you are not able to come to terms with that, it's totally fine. Um, but, you know, it, it may be time for you to look at a different game or something. Because it's just, it's not up to you. Uh, as, as unfortunate and as blunt as that may be, um, this is, yeah, this is the reality. This is the reality. The advent of companies telling us why they've made certain choices is incredibly new. The line, we listened to consumer feedback and as a result we... is, is very, very recent. It's very new. And oftentimes is bullshit. <laughs> They say it to justify something they've changed that they know some people are going to be unhappy about. It's marketing. It's 
here. But the big thing is, if you don't like something, you are under no obligation to give a company money for it. You are allowed to love something that did exist in the past and at the same time hate what it is today. That's totally valid. Because like you, things change over time. And you are allowed to, to hold classic WoW and, and Burning Crusade and Wrath and all that kind of stuff in the highest of esteem. And hate Shadowlands. And BFA. And Legion. It's totally valid. What I hate is seeing people spend so much mental energy and generate so much stress over something that just doesn't that doesn't justify it. It's just not worth the energy. It's not worth the anguish. Because this is what it is. It's it's anguish. It's mental pain. It's not worth it. Nothing is worth it. Not that much of it. But that's just my opinion. And everyone is entitled to their own. And that's the beautiful thing about this place. Is that we're all allowed to feel exactly how we want to. As long as we don't inflict that on other people. They are allowed to feel differently from you. Mm. Um. Find the custom of custom mouse happen directly in the update with Leviathan. Going further, the players ourselves. Uh, bubble tea shop just opened in my town. Never tried any of them. Don't even know what it actually is. Lol. Got any recommendations for which one to try first? Open to try any. Well, um. Bubble tea is, is like, there's so many different flavors and shit, obviously, and it can be quite overwhelming when you have a look at the menu. Um, but if you break it down into categories, it makes it a lot easier to deal with. So if you're having your first ever bubble tea, I'd recommend going with one of the major categories, either milk tea or fruit tea. Um, so milk tea is anything that's creamy, milk-based, that kind of shit. So um, you'll have, like, original milk tea, which is like your, your gold standard of milk tea. That's kind of the first thing that most people go for. Um, or you've got like Thai milk tea, or you could have matcha green, like matcha milk tea, which is obviously matcha, it's a bit drier, not as sweet, that kind of thing. Um, brown sugar milk tea is a super, super, super popular one. Uh, quite sweet. Um, keep that in mind if you're not a massive sweet tooth. Um, often brown sugar milk tea isn't able to be uh, sweetness adjusted, which I will talk about in a second. Uh, and then milk tea, uh, sorry, fruit tea, some of the ones I'd recommend would it be like passion fruit if you're looking for something with a little bit of kick. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, mango tea is a really good, like kind of a basic sort of tropical flavor if that's your jam. Green apple, which is the one that I've got, is one of my favorite ones as well. Quite sweet. And then lychee. Uh, lychee tea is one of my most favoritest. It's just, it's quite sweet and just really kind of... I think people describe the taste of lychee as floral, um, but it doesn't taste like flowers. It doesn't taste like grass. Um, it's 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 quite tasty though. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, once you've got that done, uh, once you've decided on your like your flavor, often they'll allow you to adjust the sweetness level. So you've got like full sweetness, like full sugar. Then you've got less, half, little, none. So it's like 175, 50, 25, zero percent. Uh, of the of the sweetness um depending again on your your taste like you know if you like shit really sweet just go for full sugar see how you go um if you like things a bit less sweet maybe go with half or even even like little um if you want it just a little bit less sweet go for less uh, and then ice um that kind of just depends on how hot the day is oh what is there we go uh and then again it's the same thing like 175 50 25 zero uh, brown sugar, obvious, uh, often they won't let you change the sweetness level because the sugar 
With other ones, they add like a syrup, a flavoring syrup, and then they add the sugar. Whereas with brown sugar milk tea, the flavoring syrup is the sugar. So if they add zero sugar, they're not adding any of the flavor and it's not a brown sugar milk tea. So that one you often can't change the sweetness level on. Um, and then topping. Uh, a lot of the, the jellies, like a lot of the fruity sort of jellies will be a coconut jelly that has been soaked in a flavored syrup. So that's grape jelly. So it's coconut jelly that's been soaked in grape syrup. Um, like lychee jelly, same deal. You can just get coconut jelly, which is tasty. Uh, and then rainbow jelly, which has a couple of, like, there's, like, white, yellow, and red. Um, which, it's all still coconut jelly, but it's, like, it, all of them are slightly different flavoured. Uh, all still quite sweet. And then tapioca pearls, which are chewy uh, and a little bit sweet, but don't really have much flavour by themselves. They tend to take on the flavour of what's around them. Um, I tend to have, like, coconut jelly in fruit teas and pearls in milk teas, personally. Obviously, you don't have to do it that way. You can mix it up, but um, that's my usual preference. Um, but yeah, that's kind of... It's tasty. It's sweet. And a big cup will fill you up. Because <laughs> it's liquid. It does that. Uh, Bay, Seeker, Dwarfy, Valene, Grubin, and Z. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. And it's a boss battle. Loyalty boss chest. Make sure to place those units. Ah, uh, if he somehow comes back again. Just find a way to make it make sense. Can where he is now would be a huge asshole. Black milk tea is traditional. I recommend something like grape mango or lychee. Yas! Grape is a really good one as well. Agreed. Agreed. Did really enjoy Legion. All of it. So did I. But some people didn't, and that's okay. We all have different tastes when it comes to this shit. And, uh... That's totally okay. Most that you pick sweeteners, yeah, tend to go for 100% sweet. Some prefer less sweet, more neutral flavor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you like, if you have one and you're like, hmm, that was a bit too sweet for me, um, or you know, I, I there was a, a time where I was like stepping myself down on the sugar because I was trying to consume less sugar, uh, and that's totally valid as well. It's still delicious at any level of sugar. Um, like it's really, really tasty. It's it's just less sweet. Um, and so you get the other flavors, like you get the tea flavor coming through and stuff like that. Um, the less sugar you add. So yeah, it just depends on what you're after. But it's all fucking tasty. All fucking tasty. Uh, I'm glad for this discussion, so it makes the brain work and distracts from my woes. Yeah, look, it's, um... They are big discussions. They are big discussions, and a lot of people are exceptionally passionate about their viewpoint. Uh, as am I. Clearly, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be, wouldn't still be talking about this after, what, like, two fucking hours of talking about it or something? I don't think it was two hours, I think it was closer to one, but, um, still. Uh, and that's, you know, the passion is what lights up our world, it lights up life, makes life worth living, is, is the passion and excitement and, and, and stuff that you feel for something. Uh, and sometimes passion can be negative. You passionately dislike something, and that's okay too. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, these discussions can get very interesting, for sure. Ah, uh, Tapioca Bowls, yes! Pearls, do they do dairy-free bubble tea? Uh, some places do. Some places do, yeah. Uh, it all just depends, like, you may have to ask them. Um, if they use, uh, creamer, so a lot of them, instead of actually adding milk to the tea, it'll be, like, a powdered creamer, and that powdered creamer may contain dairy. Um, but some of them may make fresh milk teas as well, where they use actual milk, and in that case they may have soy milk that they can put in, or something. Um, it just, it really depends on the individual store. Um, if you have any dairy allergies or lactose intolerance or anything like that, you need to ask them. Just as you would in any restaurant or drink place. Fruit one's generally dairy free unless you get milk variety, yes. Yeah. Wait, I did spell Blade Illyrial, didn't I? And I got something. That was nice. Um, this is Star Orga. Going in, in the wrong order according to ATT, but I don't actually get. This time, wait until I'm in the door before I press go. If only you knew what lay beyond such insolence. Very well. I shall show you. I genuinely honestly feel like sometimes the normal encounters are easier 
than the LFR ones. Is that because it's sca scaled for 10 players here, but it's scaled for 25 when I'm doing it on LFR? I've just realized, probably. Uh, okay, so nothing from Star Orga because fuck me, I guess. Estreas thought himself superior to... Of course, if you do find a flavor or two that you really enjoy, highly recommend giving the Bubble Tea Club a try if they deliver to your country. Not just because I'm an affiliate and it helps me pay my bills, but because it's genuinely tastier than a lot of the stuff I've gotten from actual places. Like, honestly. <clears throat> Plus, it means you can make it at 2 a.m. if you want to. When all the bubble tea shops are closed. <laughs> they don't have every flavor under the sun just yet. But, uh, they do watch their social media and stuff for, um, for suggestions on flavor, and they have absolutely implemented new flavors because they've been suggested frequently. Just recent, like the, new the newest flavors they've introduced have been uh, guava and grapefruit and holy fucking hell they're tasty. So fucking good. They had gingerbread milk tea for Christmas as well. Oh, oh it was, it was, it was so good you guys. You don't understand. It was so good. It was limited edition, but fuck, I hope they bring it back next year. It was so fucking tasty. Electric always forget to ask shops and restaurants if their products are dairy free. It's probably why I'm always shooting myself. <laughs> Kylie, you should take care of yourself. Fuck. its beauty to my blooms. I alone have mastered the delicate intertwining of magic into nature's grand cycle. And our shifts aren't fun. Agreed, Apathy. Agreed. Like, just that little bit of overtime can so often feel like just... Oh, yep. Yep. Where are my trash drops? Where are my zone drops? Come on. There are four of them. You can't give me one. Rest of the, the rest of it made sense, so... Just zone drops at the start of stream. Yeah, but I want more, Zam! What about second zone drop? Kill him. I don't need anything from him, but I might as well. How dare you disturb my pristine gardens! <laughs> mm. Wither in my heat, little weeds! <laughs> now you face three aspects of life. Even as your cycle is about to end. I joined the free for all. Throws an apple. <laughs> I must say it is very odd not campaigning. I'm so sorry, Seiko. Nature nourishes but, those who truly good lord. Next month is gonna be water. fucking batshit. 
fucking batshit. I have to reconfigure my wardrobe door. Okay, that's gonna sound really strange. So my wardrobe is has like mirrored. You can you can no you can't. Um, that there, that's my wardrobe door there, just here, and it, it's a mirror, uh, and it's like the two sliding doors. Yep, good. Uh, and so I use one of them to write on with whiteboard markers and to do my uh, stream schedule so that I can plot out like, okay, these are the dates I'm going to be streaming. This is what I'm going to play here. This is what I'm going to play there. And that way I can like wipe it off and move things around up until my month schedule is like locked in. But I only stream four days a week. For two weeks in February, I'm going to be streaming every day. Every day for two weeks. Well, unless it drops early, in which case, fuck is all. Nah, um... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to like reconfigure my wardrobe door to fit in those extra three days of streaming each week. It's going to be a time. Like it's going to be messy and I'm not going to like it. But it's like I I'm not going to like reconfiguring my wardrobe door. I meant the streaming will be great. But yeah, it's, uh, mm, it's a thing. Zip it flower boy. Don't mess with the man's plants. I'm not messing with the plants. I'm killing his face in. <laughs> no apologies required. No, I know. But like... It has definitely taken out a little bit of fun of the stream, you know, the the campaigning and asking people to to drop in their their embers and stuff like that. There, it's certainly taken out a little bit of the zing, which which kind of sucks, you know. What we could do though, like I would love some more ideas on what we could do for for bonus stream, like for goals. If Chef Squad goes well this month, we are absolutely going to have Chef Squad as further goals. Um, but like, ah, but I suppose what else? Like, what, what, allies, what do you want me to put myself through for your entertainment? Because <laughs> I feel like it's more successful, it's, it's more fun if I'm going to somehow suffer just a touch. Or if we're going to suffer together, you know, like, like the Shah Farm. But also like Shah Farm, I kind of just want to get it done now. I want to do it and bash my head against it until it drops. I won the free-for-all! Go me! More CK3? Could just start telling, start telling people to buy the stuff, <laughs> Encourage people to follow me on social media. That was tip, wasn't it? Nothing new. Encourage people to follow me on social media and to, and to, and to, um, check out my affiliate links and, 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 yep. Yeah. You know what I'm really excited to do is at the end of the month, like January 31st, is pull my list of subscribers and see if I can actually make that sub banner with all your names on it. I don't want to promise it yet because I'm nervous that I won't be able to get it done, but I really, really want to try. Really want to try. Print Mossy K3. I'm sure Jass would appreciate that. Mellow, yes. So, hey, Seeker, the, the eyeshadow that I did yesterday with like the purpley stuff and things that I posted in the Beautiful Stuff channel, um, that's the treasure chest palette. I used, um, I think it was Garnet and Amethyst and. Oh, no. Hang on. What was the. Yeah, it was Pearl. I got it right. So, I used. Let me. Um, so pearl is this one up here is the matte shade. I put that in my crease and it it kind of like it was just there enough for you to just notice it kind of thing. And then I put garnet, which is this pinky purple one here on like the outer corner. And then I put amethyst, which is the pinky one at the end here, um, like on my lid. Holy fuck, it was gorgeous. I really, really loved it. It just like, oh, it was awesome. And then I had a, a lipstick that I got from my ColourPop mystery box that was like part of their collaboration with Barbie. So it was like a hot fucking pink. It was really cool. It was pretty. And it stayed on all the way through dinner, which, and dinner was not exactly, it was very greasy <laughs> and, and soupy and delicious and wonderful. So yeah, I was so happy with that. I've purchased and used myself. Yeah, they're so good, hey. Like the liquid lipsticks are amazing. I'm yet to try the, the bullet ones because I need to like do that, but. Yeah, I'm super keen. I need to message them and ask, like, am I allowed to use my own link to make purchases? Um, 
or is there some kind of like discount code that I get as an affiliate to use outside, do you know what I mean? So that I can get more product to test out. Cause I, I want to test a couple of, uh, a couple more of their formulas. Ah, oh, thank you, Lander. Um, I was thinking about that today, actually, how I can better support you through social media. Aw, Sika! Oh my god, I kind of want to grab that Boxing Day special box. Oh, yes! Yeah, that, I like, mm. I, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder how long it'll be around for. It does look good, though, hey. Some good shit. Alright, we do the rest of this trash and then I go down and do Christmas. Oh, a stretch redemption. Oh, there we go. So I did that one. And a stretch. I misread that as Screech. Oh, no. Do you mainly play WoW as a solo game or mainly raiding? Mainly as a solo game. Uh, I do occasionally play with a group of people, but they're taking a break until 9-2 in terms of raiding. Um, but I'm not, like in a raiding guild or anything like that. Yeah. It's like, what is this? A dinosaur redeemer? <laughs> no, is a stretch. And if you guys haven't stretched for a little while, you should totally do so. Just as simple as like reaching your arms up above your body and like arching your back and pulling your shoulders back and stuff can really make a difference. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Chrysus, give me a drop. I like this boss. It was very cool, hey. How to like break the bridge and stuff. That was for Tyrion Fordring, monster. Grossus may not have struck the killing blow. Knowledge is power. Okay. So I don't actually need anything from uh, Elisand, but we have to kill her anyway. Uh, and then we go through to Gul'dan. Could get a mount. I've got all the gear I need from Gul'dan. I just need the Hearthstone card and the mount. <laughs> But hey, at least we've hit 70%. You know what's really gross? So I want, I'm going through like my lowest percent dungeons, right? And I'm trying to push everything above 70. Next Sunday, the first instance we're starting with. No, we're gone.
No more gun. Um. I foresaw your coming, of course. The threads of fate that led you to this on. place. Hey, a chunky. What is your fave fraction and character to play? Well, my fave fraction is two fifths. My people face uh, I just like the curves. Sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not. I promise, I'm not making fun. Um, I just, I, I love. Yeah, I thought it was fun to, to answer the question as typed. Um, so my majority of my characters are horde. Uh, 30 characters on Horde side and 20 on Alliance. Um, so I definitely prefer Horde. Um, it's just where I've played the longest and, and yes, my home kind of thing. Uh, my favorite character is this one. It's uh, it's my mage. Uh, mage is my favorite class. I've been maining a mage since I started playing at the start of the Alliance. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been, I've been playing a mage called Fiyama uh, since I started playing at the start of BC. So yeah, it's uh, definitely my favorite. Yeah. How about you? Which which faction do you prefer and what's your favorite class? Uh, but seriously, if any of you aren't already, following Fear on socials is worth it and is so valuable to her. Plus, you can click to notify and it'll let you know when she pops some excellent new content. Particularly love the mount makeup on Instagram, Twitter, and the Twitter Would You Brothers. They're so much fun, aren't they? So much fun. I like sitting there and coming up with all those is a fucking pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> but it's so much, and I love reading through everyone's responses too, and like all the different reasonings behind it. Oh, it's so great. But yeah, Instagram is like, if, if you have an Instagram account, I would love a follow. Um, I'm really close to 1000 followers. And although like the, the big milestone for Instagram where you start actually getting like deals, like brand deals and stuff. And so to put it in context, I would like to be a full-time content creator. Um, that's not going to be possible just via Twitch, because Twitch is not a super popular, well-known platform in Australia. Like, I mean, it, it is in, in terms of gamers and stuff like that, but in terms of brands willing to pay, you know, pay my bills and shit, uh, in terms of brands willing to pay, they don't really pay Twitch too much attention. Um, it's not... It hasn't quite got there in terms of brand awareness yet. Instagram, however, is on fire. 10k is the sweet spot. Like it's like the minimum threshold to start actually making dosh from from Instagram, and a mile off that. Um, but excuse me, there are some platforms where anyone with 3k or more can start making some kind of, and to start building a portfolio. Um, but 1k is like your bare minimum of like what you need to start getting, to like start getting there and stuff. So if, if you have uh, an Instagram account and you're not already following me and you wouldn't mind, I, I would love a follow. Love a follow. But yeah, any other social media that you may have um, would be great as well. I post lots of updates across all of my social platforms. I have Facebook, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, and I have TikTok. Um, and I pay attention to all of them. Uh, I, I go through all of the, the follows and the comments and the likes and the, um, all that kind of shit. So by all means. Uh, and it's free. It's free for you to do. So if you would like to help me... Um, if you would like to see me create content more often, if you'd like me to stream more, this is the way to do it. Help me grow, help me get those sweet, sweet brand deals, and let me pay my bills so that I don't need my day job. That's how we do it. In the end, death will inherit this world. Um, it's not Hagel. Or Morass, yeah, look. Oh my god, I know. Will you watch the cutscene? Oh, do you defeat Gul'dan? Um, yeah, I can if you'd like me to. When he shuts the fuck up. <laughs> uh, that makeup is always going Oh, Thank you, Kylie. Thank you. I used to play a dwarf paladin, fell out of love with the character. Now I'm trying to find inspiration to grind out a new character. Ooh, any ideas? Um, are you being drawn to, like, tank healer DPS in particular? Or, like, melee or ranged? Or, like... Do, do you imagine yourself as, as you know, throwing magic at, at shit uh, while wearing a beautifully embroidered robe, or would you prefer to smack something in the face with a with a lump of brick um, <laughs> while while protecting yourself uh, with bolted together sheet metal? Like, what's what? How do you how do you imagine yourself as a? I don't RP, so I'm obviously very bad at all of this. But um, how do you imagine your character? 
Paying bills in this economy? Yeah, incredibly hard. Exactly! I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, do we have to be on Insta for- active on Insta? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, obviously, the higher engagement rate I have, so the more likes and comments and stuff that I get on each of my posts, the better for, for brand deals and stuff. But for just sheer follower number? No. No, you don't have to be active at all. Um, she has TikTok. I do. I do have TikTok. I have yet to do a single TikTok trend. Um, but I feel like maybe I should. The ritual is upon us, but first, I'll indulge myself a If you don't mind watching, I just love seeing Illid and Crush peeps. <laughs> oh god. Oh, stop being in fucking- a there we go. Taste of the master's might. You'll never escape my grasp. Drink in the glory. Fail you, master. More power. No more distractions. I have work to do. Where can we get him out? Surrender. We can I stop him. I us. know it. between Hunter and some kind of warrior at the moment. Ooh. Personally, I prefer Hunter, just because they have the pet. So I can like sick my pet on them and then ignore it and it'll die eventually. <laughs> but um, warriors aren't too bad either. What spec of warrior do you prefer? Love that, just the dissipating red smoke. He looks so sad. Save me his skull for reasons. Fucking Kaka. You know what we face. Oh, zug zug. <laughs> now, mortals, follow me into the abyss. So sharp teeth. Just finished Witcher season two. I've been watching an episode at a time once the kids were asleep. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. No golden Hearthstone card and no mount. But that's okay, we got to 70.42% completion. So it's another one over 70. I wonder, okay, so let me let me expand all of these and let's see what we have left below 70. Um, for those of you who are like, what the fuck, why is she doing about 70? Um, I've made the decision that once fear, all of Fear's dungeons and raids are above 70% complete, I'm going to start doing all 12 classes, like start working on the, the other ones as well. So, we have Nomragon at 69.23. We have Serpent Shrine Cabin, SSC, at 69.57. We have... Um... Oh! End time at 69.23. Uh, Zulaman at 69.70. God, that brings me back. Um, uh, Cathedral of Eternal Night at 69.23. And that's it. That's all of them that are below 70. Can the Golden Hearthstone card drop on any difficulty? Yes. Uh, then I'm torn between Orc or Blood Elf. Can't decide on what storyline I'd like to follow. See, I'm massively biased there. I love Blood Elves. And I love, uh, like, Silverin is fucking gorgeous. And I loved the Sunwell, all that kind of stuff. That whole aesthetic was just fucking awesome to me. So I'd go Blood Elf. But I'm very heavily biased there. Most of my characters are Blood Elves. I have, like, out of my 50, I think I have seven Blood Elves. 
Um, and everything else is pretty evenly spread, and then seven blood elves, yeah. It's a thing. So yeah, look, we're getting there. We're getting there. Were you just saying nice every time I said 69, dude? You totally were, weren't you? We're so mature here, aren't we? So mature. But there you go. And then, after we've brought all of those up above 70, we have Jasmine, my warrior, with Seat of the Triumvirate at 13.16% completion. 13.16. Because I don't play anything other than mage. <laughs> oh, I just love elves in general. I have a lot of night and blood elves. C -c -c Combo breaker. <laughs> oh fuck! I still need to unlock the other elves. You should, Billy, and it's so much fun unlocking the other um, what's it called? Damn it. I got there. Are you glad I added the extra info? Look, yes, I think. I'm pretty sure. I think. I don't know. Anyway. I'll, I'll see. Once I start doing the other classes, then I'll tell you. Then I'll tell you. Um, I did move them over so that I can so that they're in the locked row, uh, the locked columns, so I can see them no matter where I scroll across. And they didn't break the it didn't break the things, so I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Where? Where? Hmm. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably. I mean, probably. Look, speaking... Speaking of all... Of the of the Final Fantasy shit we've been talking about, I think that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go watch a friend of mine play play some Final Fantasy. Uh, I actually really wish Blizzard would rebuild Silver Moon so much, like just do a time skip thing like they did Undercity. Look, maybe, maybe that'd be kind of cool. But I don't know. It'd have to fit in with the stuff somehow. I think I don't know. Just place my ship. The battle went ready. Oh no! Oh no! Queensland people trying to get boosted bookings. Online, nothing available until Feb. Called one today, booked in for Tuesday. Yeah, also check out um, across Australia if you check out like Hot Doc or um, like uh, Health. What's the other? Like the online bookings for doctors, for GPs and stuff like that. They're fucking everywhere. Boosters are goddamn everywhere. Literally everywhere. And like, because um, I had a, a colleague who had a lot of friends who were struggling to book here and they were calling this place and using this online thing and nothing was working. And they jumped on Hot Doc. And there are hundreds of appointments available everywhere. Everywhere. So they're absolutely fucking everywhere. Um, and a lot of, uh, like, a lot of pharmacies and stuff like that also have them available, which is why they're on things like HotDoc rather than, um, uh, rather than just through GPs and stuff, because apparently a booster is fine. Like, if you're giving, like, a first vaccination, there's a few things, but if it's a booster, like, more people are able to do boosters. I don't know, it's it's weird. But, um, yeah, there are so many ways to get a booster shot. So many ways to easily book them in. And to see them fix Silver Moon after all these years. I just want to be able to fly there! Look. Look. I feel you. I feel you. Okay, let's do this last battle. Let's do this final battle. Can you, can I click the button, please? Okay. Check. Oh, a hydrate. Another hydrate. No, this battle, dude. This is the last one. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> last one. Oh, shit. I can't drink that quickly, X. I'll die.
Thing is okay. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Uh, you know when you just feel so bloated because you like yeah. It's a thing. <gasps> Look at the little baby bed. That's so cute. What do you reckon of our um of our, of our shadow bird up here? The shadow variant, super cool. <clears throat> I think we've got it too. Uh, congratulations to Vio, Bolo, Draz, Dupe, Dwarfy, Litter, Valine, and Z on all of your bonus shit. Congratulations. We are wrapping it up there. That is the final battle for the evening. Uh, I'm going to go over here so I can show you this. This is my schedule. My schedule for January. Um, what's the date today? It's the 9th. Good. So, 10th. Tomorrow we have Mount Farm Monday. I hope you'll join us for that. Hopefully, we'll get a couple of new ones, but we will see. We'll see. On Wednesday, the 12th, we have, hopefully, fingers crossed, Mario Party with Married with Pets. That's both Jared and Maddie. Jared is just off the tail end of COVID, and Yori, Maddie, is still fighting it, like, in the thick of the battle. So... This one may be flexible. I'm really hoping that Yori, Yori will be feeling a fuck ton better by Wednesday. Like, I hope, I really, really hope because I care about her and I would like her to not feel like shit, funnily enough. Um, but if they're not up to it, we'll finish off the kids we were and we will reschedule the Mario Party uh, episode, which is, to I'm 100% ha happy to do that. I understand. Um, but yeah, if, if, we are, if we're unable to do Mario Party, we'll finish off the kids we were. Um, because we still have a few chapters of that to go. On Friday the 14th, we're going to be doing our 50-50s leveling stream. Super keen for that. Add a couple more 50s. Maybe we'll get to 32 50s to the, to the pile. And then back around to next Sunday, which will be another Transmog Hunt stream. And I'm going to start with Nomragon. Unless I want to do some Transmog Hunting between now and then, which I shouldn't. If I'm playing WoW recreationally, I should be leveling. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Um, okay, where is where is this? Alrighty, that attitude. I think we've got it. Uh, Chef Squad. Yes. So yeah, there's there are a couple of other special event streams coming up, including on the nineteenth we have Chef Squad. The twenty first, we're twenty fifth, twenty first. I'm doing some Wrath time walking, and I'm gonna need your help with that. So if you want to run some alts through Wrath time walking to get some time walk badges, that's the time. That red asterisk represents uh, Saturday the 22nd doing our marathon stream, 5050s leveling stream for 12 hours. We're gonna get so many new 50s and I'm so fucking excited for that. Um, and then on the 26th, we're gonna be doing some WoW secrets. And on the 28th, of course, Pokemon Legends Arceus is releasing and so we're gonna dive in for that as well. Um, so many goals, so many channel point goals we, we did. Yes, you're gonna do all the hiring, all the hiring. Thank you for being here, Kylie. Happy sleeps. Thank you, Seeker. You too. I really hope I get some happy sleeps because I could fucking use some, honestly. I feel like trash. Um, we're going to send some love to Barry. Barry is a different of mine. I adore him. I adore them. They are wonderful. He is lovely. Um, uh, pronouns or whatever make you comfortable. His words. So I look. I chop and change, and I think he's okay with that because he's never corrected me. So, <laughs> um, no, but for twenty first, yeah, twenty first. All right. So I am gonna see you on Monday. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Follow me on the social medias. Please and thank you. I would very much appreciate it. It genuinely, actually, does help. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow for another stream. All the love. Mwah. I guess.